Okay, looks like we're all recording. Welcome, everybody. As you can see, we're playing a game called Pokemon Recharged Yellow on challenge mode, of all things. So I wanted to start a new game this week to use my PNG tuber for, and this seemed kind of cool. I wanted to give it a shot. Um, it's, it's basically Pokemon Yellow rebuilt and Pokemon Emerald's engine, and I know that's going to sound confusing, but Emerald's like the most versatile tool for like making things, so that's why they didn't use Fire Red and Leaf Green. Hang on, let's just get into it here. Gonna play on challenge mode. Now, from what I understand, this makes many, many battles much more tougher as it goes on. Like, they'll actually have like a actual good moves. I think Misty's Starmie, for example, gets like psychic coverage. Okay, put that there. Make sure it's saved. And. I'm not using these, but just to show you, this seems to have a built-in Nuzlocke mode and level cap and even extra XP if you want it, so there seems to be a whole lot of cool stuff for this. This game was made by Jizo, by the way. I hope I'm saying your name right. Correct me if I'm wrong. And let's go ahead and start the adventure. Get cozy, get comfy. Hang on. Move this over here. Hang on, it, it's gonna pause. I gotta fix that. I knew I was forgetting something. Hello there! Good to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokémon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokémon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokémon. And if you want to know how people tend to interact with Pokémon, well, some people keep them as companions, and others have them do battle. Chat, do you know what teddy bear I have as a companion? Look at that. Hang on. Oop. That's right. I have a button that puts a teddy bear in my arms, and I will make use of it. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. Now, why don't you take uh, tell me a little bit about yourself? Let's not stumble over my words already. Okay, I think they uh, they just use Leaf for the generic girl protagonist. So let's play as Red. It's got like its newest version a few weeks ago, I believe. Hang on. You know what? Let's just put Red. It automatically shifts to lowercase when you push the first thing in. Nice. Do that. I don't even know if you can complete the Pokedex. Hi, Lorelai. Thank you for the sub. Oh, you're red. I remember now. And this is blue. This boy here is your friend and rival. You two grew up next door to each other. What was his name? We're just gonna call him Blue. For simplicity's sake. Yeah, I want to take a little break from Blaze Black, because I also wanted to start this. I think it's gonna be extra comfy. Caspery Red is finally here, of course. Red, your very own Pokemon tale is about to unfold. Yes, a world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon await. I will see you soon. By the way, we're also going to be doing Mario Party again after this. Okay, look at that. I got a little, I got a little shadow beneath me. Can I pick up the potion? You have a beautiful wallpaper. There is a Gyarados surrounded by multiple Pokemon like Horsey. All right then. Red played with the switch. Okay, time to go. All right, then. Red, did you fall asleep again? What? It's not that bad? But look what time it is already. So this is just to prompt me to set the clock. Because only the Hoenn games have a clock. Fire Red Leaf Green doesn't. Have you forgotten? You were supposed to receive your first Pokemon from Professor Oak today. Red, if you want to be a great trainer, you should be a little more responsible. Go see Professor Oak. He might still have a Pokemon for you. But I have a Pokemon. Don't you see the little bear I'm holding? Everybody loves the little teddy. Hallett Town is such a nostalgic theme, isn't it? Alright, let's go and get my Pikachu. Um, this is challenge mode. I feel like I should reset for a, a, a okay nature. Because if I get an adamant Pikachu, I'm just going to box it forever. That's okay. That was close. Pokemon live in tall grass. Teddy Ursa doesn't exist in yellow times, though. That's what you think. I'm holding it right now. Oak is sending out Nevi to do his dirty work. Let me just save before I pick up the Pokeball. I think you're allowed to evolve it to Raichu. Look at that sprite. Boop, 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 boo. That's right. I've been enjoying using the PNG tuber for the past couple weeks. And I just really wanted to start a Pokemon game specifically to use it for, and this seemed like it would be comfy for it. You! 
Pikachu don't usually show up on Route 1. I wonder what that one was doing here. I don't think the bug catchers are going to be too brutal, but challenge mode will pick up as it goes on, from what I understand. I have no words. Red, we must check what's going on with that Pikachu. Follow me. How's the audio, by the way? Sound good? Yep, overworld Pokemon follow. I wonder where that little Pikachu went. Why, it's right there, Mr. Oak. Red, it seems like that Pikachu really wants you as a trainer for some reason. Go ahead, it's your last chance to become a Pokemon trainer. Uh, let me make sure my game saves. Come on. Okay, good. I, I had to change the settings so it would save for Mother 3 the other day. I was worried it would affect this game. Okay, game has been saved. Pika-P. You chose Pikachu as your partner. Hydrate, don't mind if I do. No, that's okay. Red doesn't nickname his Mons. Congratulations, Red, you're a trainer now. Now, where's that blue? You two should have a friendly battle. He's very competitive. I'm sure you could learn something from him. I know. Why don't you tell your mom you got a Pokemon? Maybe by the time you tell her, blue will have shown up. Okay. What do we got? Hasty nature. Speed up, defense down. I'll take it. As long as it's not adamant. Pikachu already has ass defense anyway, so... Eh, Pikachu. Pikachu was wandering around and listening to different sounds. Do you see that, Teddy? Do you see that? Teddy is just mesmerized by the video game. Okay, Mom, will you please give me running shoes? Hi, Red, come in. Let me get a drink here. Professor Oak had a Pokemon for you. That's awesome, honey. Excuse me, please. The professor asked you to go to Viridian City. A package has arrived at the Pokemon, and we're swamped with work. Please accept this in exchange for the favor. Now, whoa, whoa, whoa there, buddy. I don't remember agreeing to do anything here. You ain't telling me what to do. Oops. Well, I ruined it. I switched to the wrong one. Hang on. I gotta remember my hotkeys. Look. Normal. Angry. Normal. Angry. I'm like a child with a new toy right now. Thank you very much. I accidentally got rid of the teddy. Wow, you're finally embarking on your adventure. Remember to change your underwear and visit your mom from time to time. And wear these too. I don't have all the states set up yet, um, but I do have a commentator mic for more Mario Party. You can enable auto run in the options menu. Do you want to enable it now? No, I'll stick with the classic. Don't you dare get lost. So I believe Kanto layout is generally the same. You can check though. Okay. Yep, everything seems to be in place. So mad I yeeted the teddy. No panic state yet? Well, that requires a bit more stuff. That's what we're saving for. That's what next month's sub goals will be. Technology is incredible. You can now play games on multiple platforms. Yeah, you can. I'm raising Pokemon too. When they get strong, they can protect me. Well, all right. Now, what does she give since I didn't get a town map? Hi, Red. How's your Pokemon doing? Nothing. Well, for now, let's go do the errand. By the way, I should mention before people point it out. So this game has a little cool thing, right? Hang on. Pokemon color, unique and standard. So this game has like a little thing that kind of like changes the colors of Pokemon just slightly in a similar way that Pokemon Stadium does. You know how like sometimes they have like that hue of like yellow or green or red? It kind of does this and it saves it permanently. I guess I could turn the text speed up, but weird that there's an instant option. Try that. I work the Pokemart, so it's part of a convenient chain selling all sorts of items. Please visit us in Viridian City. I know, I'll give you a sample. Yay! Let me see. That Oddish is looking pretty normal. Alright, Pikachu, we should get some stuff for you, but you can't really Thundershock Oddish reliably. You need some freaking Pidgeys. Is my Pikachu have a different shade? I should check it. 
It looks pretty normal. It might have a little bit of a yellowish green to it, but I can't really tell. Okay. But just in case, like, people see some of the sprites and they're like, wait, is that shiny? It's like, no, it's just Pokemon Stadium. Now that makes even less sense. Come on, we got grass types. There we go. See, that Pidgey's definitely a little more red. Also, by the way, a big reason that, like, people use Emerald version to base their hacks is, um... Emerald has animated sprites. However, that Pidgey sprite is the fire red and leaf green one, but uh, it's it's fan animated because Emerald's Pidgey sprite is disgusting. Okay, let's go get it. Hey, you came from Palatown? You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I get you to take it to him? Yeah, sure. This random person's responsible for it. By the way, mods, I was thinking if we could make a poll. Um, we should make a poll to vote which Mario Party board I do after this. Oh, there's Blue. Such a talented trainer, and such a cutie, too. No one could resist pursuing like him. I wonder if I could get him to sign my Pokeball. Our idol, Blue, right here, right now. It's a total dream come true. Little NPC difference. You say anything different? Those Pokeballs at your waist, you have Pokemon, don't you? Uh, it's great. You can carry them anytime, anywhere. Now he's pretty normal. Alright, let's just head back. Let's maybe run into some Pidgeys to take out, please, because Blue is probably going to trash me. He's going to have Stab normal, and I'm basically going to have to hope that I can uh, paralyze him. Thundershook. He got the fan club from the anime. Fun fact about original Pokemon Yellow. Um... Let me say here. Like, Pokemon Yellow released before the anime was that very- that- really that far in Japan. Another Pidgey. I think, like, the anime hadn't even gotten to Blaine or Sabrina yet. So, a lot of the changes made for Yellow version to match the anime were very shallow. Up to a certain point. That's why Blaine doesn't have, like, Magmar or anything. That's a rat. I don't have the potion from the PC. I'm going for it. Blue's probably gonna trash me anyway, but I want at least one level. Mm-hmm. I can wait, I can heal at mom. What am I saying? Okay. Was Sabrina the fourth gym badge for Ash actually? Huh. I guess in yellow she has Abra, Kadabra, and Alkazam. Did I get a good nature? I got a not bad nature. It's hasty, so it gets more speed, but less defense. Um, I think that that'll be okay, because Pikachu's and Raichu's defenses are already garbage anyway. It won't make a world of difference, but that extra turn from the speed could. Oh, right, by the way, um, the clock is moving in real time. Look up there. Or, not in real, real time, but... This game does have a, a nighttime mechanic, so you'll see the time of day change the shade on the overworld. Let's go here. Speed is good for Pikachu, and I believe I am allowed to get a Raichu in this game. I got one extra level. Can we do it, Teddy? Are you back already? Thank you very much for your help. Handed the parcel over to Oak. 27. Um, that's return, right? If you're going to start your adventure, it will surely help. The better you treat your Pokemon, the more effective it will be. Yeah, it is. What's the matter, Gramps? Couldn't come earlier. I was handling some stuff in Viridian. Now that you're both here with your own Pokemon, I want to ask you to gather some data for me. Gathering data? I'm here to become the strongest trainer ever. I got no time for that. Blue, if you want to become the strongest trainer in Kanto, you will have to know about your Pokemon. Here, let me give you two something. Knowledge is power, chat. Knowledge. Receive the Pokedex from Professor Oak. To fill the decks, you will need some of these. Yay! Pokeballs. Blue and red, you both have your Pokemon. In addition to that, you have in your hands a Pokedex. A high-tech 
device capable of recording all kinds of information about Pokemon. It's your job to gather as much as data about them as possible. Alright. Now we're going into battle, so I'm going to put my teddy bear down for a second. Hang on. I'm going to go into gamer mode. I can hold a controller too, isn't that neat? Not so fast. We have Pokemon. Let's see who's stronger. Get your game face on, chat. Get your disgusted game face while he probably cheats. Okay, he's still level 5. Oh. If you want the bear to return, you're going to have to post a bear redeem. Okay, he's going tackle. I'm at a big disadvantage because my defense sucks right now, and he has a stab option. I pretty much need a... Uh, yeah, I've already lost. Oh, hang on, hang on. Ah, that's that pisses me off a little bit. All right then, I lost the battle. Yay! Bear redeem. How dare you? You put the bear ba bear returning here already. Hang on. Okay, chat wants the teddy back, so I have to put it there. I knew you were weak. Keep training, rookie. Gotta take care of Pokemon said just becoming a trainer, just like my sister Daisy. Nice. I don't want to spam potions in battle. That'd be a little weenie. This challenge mode. Not not pay to win mode. 2 p.m. Now, does Daisy do anything different? Hi, Red. Good timing. I'm about to have some tea. Would you like to join me? Look, your Pokemon's a little dirty. Would you like me to groom one? Sure. Increase its happiness. Fun fact, Daisy does this in the post-game of Fire and Leaf Green, but literally no one knows about it, because why would you ever talk to Daisy again? There you go. All done. Seize doesn't look nice. Let's do it. Go, 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 go. I should go catch something now. Something that could probably help with Brock and other Pokemon. I probably want to see if I can make close to Red, uh... Poke close to Red's team or something. Controller redeem. What are you doing? You're swapping the things around? Uh-oh. Up, up, up. Alright, I'll hold the controller for a little bit, because why not? I'm gaming. It's 2.30 p.m., Look at that. Notice the weird shade on the screen now? You see. Chat's being chaotic. Microphone redeem. Alright, this is the last one. Chat will get no more power after this. No more power. The microphone is for Mario Party. And Mortal Kombat. So I can passionately just go finish him into the mic. Hotkeys are fun. I want to see what I can catch over here. I'm not sure if it's too different, but... Maybe I want to grab a Mankey or a Nidoran. Catch something. I think I can get Bulbasaur in Viridian Forest, though. Because Let's Go makes it a wild Pokemon there. And I know that Let's Go obviously took some, uh, gave some inspiration for this. I'm a child with a new toy, but so is chat. Yes, I am. This is challenge mode. I'm pretty sure it's not just Pikachu. Your, any lead Pokemon will be behind me. I believe the last big update for this game added Cerulean Cave to post-game. Wedding dress re redeem. Yeah, I don't got one of those. There's Nidoran. You want me to have one of those? You're gonna have to really cough up the big bucks for next month's sub goals. do it. Okay. I hit it a teensy bit. I want one more to good nature, though. I got ten Pokeballs. Let's do it. I actually don't know if the shiny rate has been adjusted. If anyone knows, let me know. I only just so happen to even know about this game by um, a random streamer I watch happened to like uh, like, a, like a post about it and, I, and it came up on my feed. I'm like, oh, that looks neat. It stiffens its ears to sense danger. The larger its horns, the more powerful its secreted venom. Okay, I'll say no. Let's hope this one doesn't suck. Brave nature. Um, 
That's good for a Nino King. Nino King doesn't need to be fast. Hang on, I'll, I'll put it back to the Teddy. There we go. Now my elbow isn't slightly poking the game. Bear holding microphone, don't have that one either, I'm afraid. Okay. Also, I just noticed my ID number has 444 in it. Absolutely cursed. Hmm. You like my design? Thank you, friend. I like it too. Also, look at that. A quick option to switch. Let's see the Nidoran up front. Oh, berry trees. Nice, because it's based on emerald, they can do that. Moving happily. Perfect. This one will make a nice Nido King. Nido King is like, oh, right. I thought he didn't show up because I did the errand, but well, I guess that was naive of me. Hey, Red, you're off to the Pokemon League. Forget about it. You probably don't have any badges, do you? The guard won't let you through. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? All right then. Made outfit redeem. Chat, chat. These things cost money. I hope you all know that. No, this is always where he shows up. Yes. I thought maybe just uh, because it's a hack, it would have put him elsewhere or something. This is fine. Yeah, he's gonna take me out. I hit him with poison. I'll see if I can at least squeeze some XP off of killing Pidgey. Let's do it. Chad is like making the most absurd redeems right now that I, that I don't know I have. Big head mode, redeem. Redeem, why not play Pokemon Black and White too? <laughs> Chat is in chaos. Chat's having fun too. That's why I wanted to do this. All right, Pikachu's fast. I can still win if I get godlike uh, paralysis luck. Or that happens. Yeah. I heard, okay. He, he, okay, he doesn't go away. He just does a cutscene. Nice. Heard the Pokemon League is crawling with tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling and get a move on. That's okay. This actually affects his uh, evolution, right? His Eevee's evolution. If it still works the same. So we should get Vaporeon because he kicked my ass. I don't mind that, though. I'm just exploring. It's fun. Hmm have a look around here. Shiny PNG tuber. I don't have a shiny version. What would I what would I do for that? I could change my eye color slightly and pretend it's completely different. I could use Peck and Viridian Forest to train this thing, but right now it's gonna get its ass kicked. Yeah, he basically healed my team. I knew that was gonna happen. Don't why else would I go into him? Chat, I have the big brain and the little bear. Go. Take him out. No, I don't want to train Bellsprout or Oddish. I should be able to get a Bulbasaur. Dang, that wasn't worth. Do any of the inside of the buildings look different? I'm trying to see what's, what else is different here. Okay, this looks the same. Really skilled trainers are allowed. You don't have a Boulder Badge. If you missed the start, this does have a built-in Nuzlocke mode as well, but I'm just playing through uh, challenge mode for fun. No Pokedex run, because I'm not even sure the Pokedex can even be completed in this game. It's 4 p.m. It's getting dark out. That's what that what's happening to the screen. Instant text center. Nice. Okay. The Nidoran I caught was brave, by the way, which I think is pretty decent. No man telling me to catch Pokemon? Now we're talking. I go shopping in Pewter occasionally. I have to take the Winding Trail in Viridian. I wonder if this guy says something different. Pokemon gyms always close. Wonder who the leader is. It's gonna be so funny if I do that. He's gonna have Metal Mewtwo. Hmm. Route 2. I said we go right in the forest. Hmm. The old man passed away. Teddy looks so happy and curious about this, doesn't he? Got the antidote. Uh, don't want to fight the last because she's not going to have bugs. That guy's new. 
Pidgey, a little looking, looking a bit red. Okay, let's do this. Come on. I don't know if you can find the level 9 Pidgeotto. Because that thing is kind of OP to get. It's 5 p.m. I'm not good at raising Pokemon. It seems like you could do better at raising Pokemon, too. Are you able to defeat all the trainers here? Okay, so if I beat all the trainers, he'll give me something. Got a Pokeball? Perfect. Caterpie. Oh, the time of day is affecting the battle background, too. This is really nice. I like this. Look at that. I like the little layout I made for it. I put the game title at the top so it's easier for people to pop into the stream and know what's happening. And uh, I guess that space was also kind of empty anyway. Let's go. Heck it. Perfect. Uh, I don't know if there's encounter tables for day and night, because Emerald doesn't normally have that. Nice. For once, I'm actually glad to have Peck as an option. Let's do this. Pikachu could probably fight the last down there. I don't think any Gen 3 game had day and night spawns, right? The clock was entirely for the berries. Only Gen 2 had it, and then 4 brought it back. I don't remember if Gen 5 or 6 has it. 7 absolutely does, because it's Pokemon Sun and Moon. The white lines means I ran into something at a higher level than my lead mon. The goal, ne the goal for like um, the next two months is I was going to do sub goals, right? Try and save up for a real VTuber model, but I'm also going to buy more states for the PNG because it's fun. I still have so many more to show off. By the way, I have a legally, I have a legally distinct teddy bear plush that I can also hold, but I don't have that one set up. But we're literally playing Pokemon, so I can use Teddy Ursa easily. Nice. Five does have it. Cool. Hi, do you have a Pikachu? I do. Surprised I don't have Horn Attack. Oh, that's a nice little animation. Fire and Leaf Green Sprites normally are not animated, so it's cool to see these ones animated instead of the crusty ones they use for Emerald. All right, let's do this and hopefully not die. I probably should have given Pikachu another level before I went into the forest, but we can always run back. Oh, I got potions too, I guess. Hmm. Give it a shock. I don't think I've had to do many day and night ca encounters in, um, Blaze Black so far. We'll have to see. There's definitely seasonal encounters, so I guess it makes sense. Okay, no problem. Electro Shocker. Nidoran should be able to solo everything, and it can't get poisoned by the Weedles or Kakunas. Nice. Oh, right. Um, I mentioned making a poll. Are any mods here able to do that? I don't know if you can make a poll, or it has to be a uh, prediction. I hope not. Stay in and take this thing out. Nice. Static working overtime. Prize and mo- oh, you can't make them on mobile. Um, oh, you can do it. Thank you, Lorelai. Um, I wanted to make a poll for the Mario Party game after this. I wanted to vote on the boards, Wario's Battle Canyon or Yoshi's Tropical Island. Let me see. We're going to do a 50-turn game on one of those. I'm going to go back. Hmm. How many do I have? I've got seven. Do that. So if you yeah, if you want to see either of those two boards, make sure to vote. And else up here. Let's go beat every trainer. There's Weedle. Heck. Nidoran also gets double kick for the purpose of Brock. 
They're the two best boards, though. Tough choice. I thought about putting Mario's Rainbow Castle there as well, but that one is so basic. I feel like it's not going to get voted for at all in this context. We did 35 turns last time, and it ended up being an hour and a half long because the CPUs make their decisions very instantly. Excellent. I'm going to I'm going to wait for my birthday to do a big stream of Peach's birthday cake. Okay, let's go let's go fight this guy. Okay. You have a Pokemon. Come on, let's battle him. Don't see a pole. Uh, Lorelai's working on it. Don't worry. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and peck. Oh, there it is. Hang on, I'm gonna enlarge it so I can see the results. Okay, you can, yeah, you can vote for it now, guys. See what I'm doing? I'm also mentioning this so the YouTube audience will hear about it and potentially watch the other streams. Pokemon go to the polls. Yoshi's Island is winning by, like, double right now. Oh, there's a, there, there's a lot of votes already. 40-something uh, votes for Yoshi. 20-something for Wario. Ooh. But oh, Wario's catching up. It seems pretty even. Everyone get in there. That. All y'all going to vote for who who is bored you want to see. Remember, it's going to be 50 turns. Longest you can go. Peck it. Eight. Okay, focus energy. By the way, I was going to say a fun fact about Nidoran, for those that don't know. Now, if you've played Fire Red Leaf Green or Pokemon Yellow, you might remember catching Nidoran Male because it learns Double Kick at a low level, right? The reason for that is so that you can use it against Brock, because Pikachu is garbage for it, obviously. However, most people don't realize that Red and Blue di um, did not have Double Kick at a low level. Nidoran had to wait until it was level 40-something to get, like, Double Kick, which meant you had to not evolve it. Um, and obviously, for Yellow version, they were like, what the hell are we thinking? Let's give this guy an option for Brock, and Fire and Leaf Green kept the change from Yellow version. It's really funny, yeah. Mankey also couldn't learn any fighting moves. They had, they had to give it Low Kick and Pokemon Yellow also as an option for Brock. A few early game Pokemon had their entire move sets changed in Yellow because Pikachu could not, like, damage Brock with electric moves, so they had to do something. That's also why Charmander gets Metal Claw and Fire Red Leaf Green. Let's do it. What was your option for Brock as a kid, chat? If you played yellow, that is. A lot of people tend to also use Butterfree's Confusion, but Double Kick Nidoran is the most popular because you can also just get Nido King right after. Primeape is also neat. Brock also has tons of full heals, so you can't, like... I, you can't stall him with poison. Let's do this. Yo, you can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. Teddy can jam out. Teddy gets his jam everywhere. Let's go. You, do, you just took the Pikachu to level 23, 24, and then just won through Brute Force. Hell yeah. The old tried and true. The reason Brock has a bunch of, um... He, he's programmed to use five full heals per Pokemon. The reason for that is to teach the player that they can't tackle everything in the game. Brock is meant to be, like, the first wall that forces you to use your special moves. If you're playing red and blue, that is. Excellent. Let's do it. Yeah, we can see the Pokeball the opposite trainer uses, too. Nidoran is a free train here. Holy crap. We get a super effective attack and everything. Also, can we appreciate the fact that I have Peck instead of Poison Sting? That is way better for this thing, with Viridian Forest in the context here. Oh yeah, Nidoran is busted in Gen 1 as a speedrun choice. Nidoking Thrash is great, and the X accuracy in Gen 1 doesn't increase your ac accuracy. It makes the game skip the accuracy check. So if you use one in a battle, you can just spam Horn Drill with no chance of it missing. 
Using an X accuracy turns horn drills into swift accuracy. It's the only good X item ever. Wait, what? What? How are we getting? How are we seeing so many votes right now? Huh? How are there? How am I seeing like thousands of votes there? That doesn't make any sense. We don't have that many viewers. Are people voting? Wait, wait. Can you? Can you just spam the vote button? You can vote with more points. Oh, is that what people are doing? Oh, okay. I thought for a second it was saying that there was like thousands of people here. I'm like, what? <laughs> Come on now. I don't have that many viewers and I have an anime on the side now. So now I'm probably going to have less. Actually, that's not true. When I did, when, since I've been using this, I've actually had more people here on average. All right, let's do this. Buying more votes with money, just like the real way to vote. Wario has a very slight lead. 51%, 49% at Yoshi. Well, well, well. Oh, when should we close it? Um... I'm playing this for a few hours, so... I should wait a while. And think of a good stopping point to turn off. Pick this up. I might be little, but I won't go, uh, like it if you go easy on me. All right, you heard the man, Teddy. Let's slaughter him. Simply spending your Teddy tokens back into the economy. Exactly. I'm down to less than half of these packs. I should probably let Pikachu do something. But it's not going to be able to do anything for Brock. I need double kick. <laughs> I need double kick. Pikachu is hasty and Nidoran is brave. Good nature luck so far, I'd say. Okay, nature luck. So far, these guys are nothing special. Like, listen, it's challenge mode. I don't expect Viridian Forest to be like Kaizo difficulty. I think it's not going to like get weird until maybe Mount Moon or Cerulean. Let's see... If they make the bug catchers immediately a grind, well then the game is just going to be a slow-ass grind until you get to pewter. Let's see. Mm, yeah, I think I should get double kick first. Look how nighttime it is, chat. Look how cozy it is. I have a state that puts a blanket around my character with a mug of hot cocoa in my hands. I don't have that one set up yet. I can, though. Eventually. Yeah, we got the poll set up. Wow, it keeps... The poll is actually really even, and it, someone keeps just, like, adding points to get the other one 1% 1 over the other. Uh, what should be the cutoff point? I wonder. Did you know that Pokemon Evolve? No point in closing it in a few minutes. Comfy model is super cute. Heck yeah. Heck. It's a VTuber day, all right. Using it for this, and Mario Party after. This is good, this is good. Please learn double kick. There we go. I really need a drink there. Pretend my character took a little sip. Birdie had you quality check all the picks while he was working on them. Oh, that's nice, thank you. Made sure he got the details on the Teddy Ursa right. Heck yeah. We're gonna let Pikachu get some XP now. Come on. Nope, stay in. Come on. The voting is staying so even right now, like... Uh, is there a way to, to make it so that people can't just, like, spam by uh, votes now? <laughs> it looks like someone just waits until, like, it, one passes the other and then just puts a small amount more in by buying votes. Oh, I lost. It's gonna stay like that all day if we don't do anything. 
Only by closing it. <laughs> All right, then. This may have been a mistake. More chaos. Chat can't spend their teddy tokens on changing my state now, so this is what we, this is what we get. I didn't even assume that would be, like, an option in the poll. I thought that, like, what's... Now it's basically just a prediction now. Alright, free potion. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, did it just end? Oh, was it timed? Was it... It was timed. Oh. It looks like Yoshi won by, uh, 4%. Okay, that's good enough. We'll take it. I didn't realize it like it was on a timer there. White up, what's the hurry? Why the rush? <laughs> All right then. Victory. Sad day to be a Wario fan. Don't worry, we'll play Wario's Canyon another time. We're gonna use Mario and Yoshi on the next uh, board because they didn't get a chance to participate in the last game. There's six characters, and only four can play at a time. Let's do it. After this, the next one I probably want to play is in Mario Party 2. I've really been looking forward to a lot of those, by the way. Like, people seem super excited for it. And when I uploaded the first Mario Party CPU game, uh, it did really, really well. That was also the first time a lot of people apparently saw the PNG tuber. I imagine this, this series will probably also be for that, too. I've been doing it for weeks, but when as soon as I play something popular, bam. All the NPC dialogue's the same here. Um, let me go use the Pokemon Center, and then I'll go back to that guy. Oh, hang on. Forgot the item. Oh, it's a potion now. No Lumberry. Hit an item at the end of that guy's line of sight, also in Gen 1. I found HM, like, Surf there in Randomizer before. That was sick. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yoshi won by committing Tenny Token tax evasion. Unbelievable. You accused the dinosaur of these crimes? What evidence? What evidence? Okay. Go up here. For those that don't know what the hell I'm talking about, when you watch someone on Twitch over time in chat, like, it gives you, like, points for watching, right? And we call the points Teddy Tokens here, because of course we do. And so many viewers have just accumulated tons of those, and we have nothing to use them on, because I don't have, like, sound redeems or anything like that. So now we're just betting them all on characters winning in Mario Party. <laughs> I think people bet, like, a combined millions millions on characters in, um, yeah, in the last game. Hang on, we're gonna go talk to that guy and see what he gives. He's probably going to give me a Pokemon. Either Bulbasaur is like a rare 1% encounter like in Let's Go, or that guy's just giving me a free Bulba. So I should save in front of him. Do. So I'd rather Bulbasaur than Oddish or Victory Bell. I think most could agree with that. Stretch for good luck. Don't mind if I do. Ugh. Pretend my model is stretching. Fix my posture. Another reason we're doing more Mario Party today is because I'm having a few copyright issues with uploads this week, so I'm a little behind. So I'd like to have an extra thing to just upload without issue. Check out that Caterpie. I gotta go all the way back to the start. I should hydrate. Hang on, let me... When I get into my next battle... I need my left hand to move for a second. Choose a little buddy. Okay. If this is Bulbasaur... Wow, I can't believe I didn't run into anything for so long. If this is... It, if this is Bulbasaur, I'll train it at Brock's gym. Close. Gold Weedle. 
The stadium color effect, yeah. Okay, we got him. Let me go ahead and do this so we don't get a look at the poison effect. Almost there, almost there. I think I'm about to get a gift starter. Either the Bulbasaur is still in Cerulean, or I get it right here, because Let's Go puts Bulbasaur in Viridian. that sign say? Oh. I made it was something different. I'm calling it now. Teddy believes in me, and you guys should believe in me too. I'm gonna do this. It's only a teensy bit. Okay. Make a save. Instant tech save. I'm not good at raising Pokemon. You defeated every trainer in Viridian Forest. Bulbasaur- yeah, I knew it. Deserves a greater trainer like you. Are you interested in taking care of Bulbasaur? Sick. Quiet nature. That's good. Bulbasaur is Venusaur is not sl is not fast at all. Yeah, I'll take that. I will take that. <laughs> Quiet little Bulba, and it comes with Vine Whip as well. Let's check the animations. Bulbasaur does a little hop and a skip. Yeah, nice. Not bad natures at all today. Okay, there's Pidgey. There's nothing in Viridian for Bulbasaur to really fight. I, I'm i pretty sure you can use Raichu because I remember in one of the screenshots the dev posted on their page, it showed Raichu walking behind him. Let's go compensates by making the Pikachu a special one that can get powerful. But in original yellow, you couldn't evolve Pikachu at all, but I feel like for a hack of all things, they'd probably just let you. Since all Pokemon follow behind me anyway. Alright, now let's get out of here. All the way to the end. Thank goodness I can run. Fire and Leaf Green, you normally don't get the running shoes until after Brock, which is a, the most why decision ever. Oh yeah, I should make the Bulbasaur follow me. Hold up. I want to see the Bulba. Bulbasaur is making a face like it's angry. Look! Bulba friend is following! Okay, we'll do that. Back to Pikachu. Run away for that. I already got the item down there. We're pretty much done. We're just gonna go to Brock now. And Vine Whip everything in the gym. And Double Kick is back up. Pikachu's there for moral support like a teddy. Too bad I can't play this game starting with the teddy. That would make it a whole lot cooler. Recharge bear? More like, uh, recharged bear. Yeah. Wait, no, I said recharge bear twice, didn't I? I didn't say recharge yellow. I ruined my own joke! What's wrong with me? I'm a, I'm a fraud, chat. I don't deserve this, Teddy. There, I'm taking it away. He ran away. He's disappointed. Hope to see you again. Recharge brown Teddy. <laughs> one day. No! Let's put Bulba up front. It comes with Vine Whip, but should be okay. Two trainers this time. You want to dream big? Do you want to come the champ? I'm no trainer, but I can advise you how to win. Does he give me water in this one? No. thought the hack might change it. First Pokemon in a match? Yeah, I know how to do that, dummy. This is the Pewter City Gym. Trainers here are a bit different from those you've faced so far. Does Did Let's Go have two trainers here? Is that who this extra character is? 
Amara's got a Geodude and a Friend Ball. Ooh, Vine Whip counts as special. Good. Good. Yeah! Everyone say goodbye to Bulba. He's gonna be an Ivy very sore. Very soon. God, I cannot talk today. You're quite different from the challengers I've faced. Stop right there, kid. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock. Ivy, very sore. Very sore, that's right. I don't think I'll really need Leech Seed. I don't know if I need any of the powders. Maybe just take sleep. Sand true? Yeah. Most people come in with fire types and feel the pain. That's what double kick and Nidoran is for. Or Metal Claw. I'm getting booped. I don't like that. So let's find out how challenging Brock is in challenge mode. It's kind of hard for him to be challenging, to be fair. Unless he has a Focus Sash Onyx, but I don't think this game goes that overboard. Like I said, at the beginning of this game, they don't, like, make it Kaizo difficulty because it says challenge mode. That would be a little stupid. Let's do it. I'm Pewter's gym leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all the rock type. Haha, you're gonna challenge me knowing you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. There we go. He's got three Mons. Every rock type in Kanto except Aerodactyl is times four weak to frickin' grass, so... Yeah. No Gen 5 Sturdy, either. Take my free XP and move on. Omanite. Mm, yeah, there we go. An extra screw you to Charmander players. Not that you could have one. This is yellow. No challenge yet. Oh! Bro! This is a special move, too, here. Yeah. He must have really good IVs to be able to tank that. A sign of things to come. An ominous sign of things to come. They must be EV trained, yeah. I got flinched. Well then, that's that that sucks. That really sucks. Are you serious right now? Are you freaking serious right now? <sighs> okay. Two crits. And multiple flinch. No, it's one crit, multiple flinches. Wow. <laughs> hang on, hang on, I got an idea. Um... Nah, I'm just gonna die. Gonna take him out. He missed. Got a crit. He can bind, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch to Pikachu and hope Static will paralyze him. Ground types aren't immune to Static, are they? I don't know. Either way, Pikachu's dead weight. There we go, we got him. I can still win this. That Omanite, man. That, sh that Omanite should have been so free. That was ridiculous. He was EV trained to tank a freaking grass move. Eating my words. Okay, now we have a chance. Now we have a chance. Come on. Ah, oh, come on! Can paralysis work literally once today? I haven't seen it go off yet. <laughs> that should have been so free. I got RNG'd. Oh, I'm, you know what this makes me feel like? Disgusted. I'm pissed off by that.
I should have used my pissed off face more during that fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to play game. Stupid game. I lost because I wasn't holding a teddy. Oh god, you're right. There we go. I've remedied the problem. Bear is back for moral support. He got a crit on my on my, uh, on my Bulbasaur, and he also made my Pokemon flinch multiple times with Bite, and it ruined me. <laughs> that was so silly. There's a crit. Come here, bro, round two. Survive this one. One special, damn. Come on. Probably has Omanite, so Pikachu has something it can still do in the battle. Come on. Are you holding the King's Rock or something? What is your problem? Are you... What? Is he cheating? <laughs> yeah, die! Die! Alright, I'm gonna sacrifice Pikachu again. Because this Onyx is a bit of a tank. Shockingly. And Onyx is fast. Brock is rigging the match. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. He's EV trained. Oh, he killed me instantly. Oh, he's gonna kill Bulbasaur instantly, too. Unless he tries going for bind. Hmm. He's not gonna full heal, apparently, so... Whatever. If I lost again, because frickin' Omanite got cheating amounts of flinch... It's actually gonna ha- Oh my god, it's actually gonna happen. I can't worry about the crit, I have to just go for it. That speed, that defense is also definitely buffed for sure. Okay, I got the poison. I might got him. He went for bind. One. I might need to save Bulbasaur for the end. Challenge mode is stadium RNG mode. Yeah, that's what it is, but so far, you're telling me. Okay, I win. I... I still feel like that should have been so easy. The only reason I was even put in a bad situation is because that Omanite was hacking with its frickin' flinch rate. 30%? Bro, I played 30%. It's called Thunder Misses 10 times in a row. <laughs> Do you see that, Teddy? We won! Yeah. Yeah. Get wrecked. Brock, you suck. Get out of here. As proof of your victory, you confirm me the badge. Yeah, 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 give me the badge, you jerk. Just having the boulder badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. Enables the use of Flash outside of battle. Of course, Pokemon that can teach Flash can use it without having to learn it. Oh. Well then, no HM moves required, everybody. That's good. Alrighty then, take this with you. Rock Tomb. It hurls boulders at the foe and lowers their speed. That was wild. I feel like I, st I should have still breezed through that, but man. Obviously, the fact that he EV trained his Omanite to tank that grass move gave him the all he needed to kill me. I wonder if he's holding an item. I'm kind of curious about that. Hmm. Lynch, baby. Not even once. Um, could probably some stuff for the road. A couple of these. Do that. Oh, there's lures in this game? Interesting. Makes rare Pokemon more likely. Hmm, okay. What is that? necessarily mean, though. Hmm. 
I'll buy two of them and use them in Mount Moon, maybe. Escape rope. I still use a trick there for that later. I'm just gonna grab these while I can. There. Just spend my money on stuff. I should have spent my money, but it's... You don't lose half your money in this game when you die, so I lost chump change at worst. All right, girl with the Pidgeys up first, so let's use Pikachu first. Should probably make a save in case something goes wrong. Do that. Excuse me, you looked at me, didn't you? I noticed they changed the sprite colors of the lass a little bit. I think it's to make her look more like her in-battle sprite. Oh, she's got Oddish now. I think I got a good team for coverage right now. Hydrate, don't mind if I do. Honestly, if a game wants to add lures, makes a good uh, contender for a Pokedex run sometime. Hang on, you know what I should do? I should put this up front. Oh, pardon me. I feel like I really need to down some water more often lately. The seasons are changing right now, and... That usually, like, makes my, uh, throat and sinuses act up. It takes my body a little bit to get used to, like, the change in temperature and all that. It sounds so weird, but I hate it. Whenever the seasons are changing, I will, like, every morning I'll just wake up feeling like garbage for a bit. I actually don't know how many Pokemon are in this. I assume it's up to Gen 3, but I don't know if we'll even see Gen 2 or 3 Mons for the most part. It's based on Yellow. You're mean, yeah? What are you gonna do about it? What the hell are you gonna do about it? Streamer can be as mean as I goddamn want. Okay. All right, thank you, Ermonis, for the sub there. 10 months. Wait a second. Are these guys gonna double battle? Um. see here. Hey, I saw you in Viridian Forest. Oh, they do. Hey, I like shorts. They're delightfully comfy and easy to wear. The Sevi Islands should still be in this. I think they have a new storyline. I don't know if that's post-game or not now. Guess we'll find out. Sevi is post-game? Okay. We can take a look at that and see how hard, hard the battles are. Oh, don't attack Bulba. It's the shorts guy. That's right. It's not Joey who says it. Caterpie is string shotting. No big deal. You can't lower what is already garbage. An Ivysaur is right around the corner for me. Right around the corner. Can't see PNG tubers' legs. Are they wearing shorts? Yes, they are, actually. Bulbasaur is down. Okay. Quick attack? Um, yeah, I guess. Don't really want Growl. Wearing jorts? No. How dare you insinuate I'd wear jorts. Jorts are for digi uh, Digimon. Bulba's level 15. Um, no. Yes. We're gonna growl. Am I saying I'm not a Digimon? No, I mean, I'm not a Digimon. Of course not. Don't let the headphones fool you. They're not goggles. Googles. <laughs> what am I talking about? Can we redeem for a Teddy Jortza or a Jetty Ursa? No. A Teddy Ursa made of Jorts. That would be delightfully weird. Hang on. Let's Thundershock you. And let's finish off the Caterpie. Probably should just get freaking Nidoran in here. Digimon characters have to have goggles. Every Digimon protagonist has to have goggles in some way. 
but they don't do anything, right? They just kind of, like, give them the look that there's some kind of explorer or whatever. Can you do this? Hmm. I'll do this. Butterfree's got confusion? Of course it does. Come on. Okay, we seeded you. It'll slowly whittle, whittle you away while we deal with Butterfree now. I immediately gotta go back to the center after this. Okay. He's going for Pikachu. Oh, come on. This is a problem. I'm getting bodied by these two. Jeez. Now the leaf seed's not gonna work the way I want. Well then. Take out the Butterfree. Please. Oh boy. Almost. Come on. Yeah, I'm screwed. Damn, felt like I was overpowered for a bit, but this is... I'm getting humbled by this game now. Okay, he still has another one? Damn. Thank you, Kerfuzzle, for the 29 months. Look at that. Don't worry, we're probably gonna go down here, but we still got XP from the fight, so it's, we're, still, we're still at a good advantage. Nidoran just needs, like, one more level to get to Nidorino. And as soon as we get a Moonstone in Mount Moon, we are absolutely getting Nino King. There's no reason to keep Nid uh, Nidorino for a long time. It's already been an hour. Yeah. This is quite a step up from Viridian Forest. I feel like challenge mode finally started once I got to Brock. Now then... I might wait. Can I, can I seriously still win this? He's not binding me. Holy crap. Nice. Wow, I... I was prepared to just lose there. Watch. You beat me again. I don't believe it. I'm really glad I caught Nidoran. I could imagine if I just went in with only Pikachu and Bulbasaur, assuming I could just breeze through Brock and all that. I'd be getting so screwed. Nice. Confirmed. I got the plot armor. And a bear. And now he's behind me. Let's just go back and heal at the center, of course. That nice. Ooh. Yeah, hang on. What else we got? Just taking a look at its stats now. Damn, Pikachu's stats really suck right now compared to Bulba and Nidorino. Look at that special attack. Only at 18. It has more physical attack right now. Damn. Hmm. Definitely gonna get a Raichu at some point. Okay, how close was Bulba? 383, huh? I should get Ivy, and then Pikachu ne needs to get itself a boost up there, too. To be fair, Pikachu is also a lower level. It's got its speed going for it, though, don't worry. As far as electric types go, uh, go, though, Pikachu and Raichu should be okay. That look you gave me, it's so intriguing. Last Sally wants to battle, she got a Meowth. Okay. This thing's gonna body me with my pitiful defense, so let's just go to Nidorino. Alright, got the poison point. Double kick it. Nice. 
Only a little bit for each. Um, I want to say Pikachu can handle this solo. Let's find out. Let's find out or get disgusted. What is even rare on this route? This is normally where you can find Charmander and Let's Go, right? Does that mean there's going to be an NPC for it? They might just keep the guy at the top of Cerulean now for Charmander. Of course, we gotta get that. It could really be either or at this point, I feel. Okay, took it out. Be nice. You will riot if I don't get Charmander. Maybe. Are you a trainer? Let's get with it right away. You know what Pokemon's cuter than Charmander, though? Teddy Ursa. Do you see this little bear I'm holding? Look how adorable it is. Don't you just want to pick it up and give it a hug? I certainly did. Totally not biased, as chat spams like uh, wholesome Teddy Ursa emotes in my chat. And now I'm poisoned again. Excellent. Pikachu's base attack is five points higher than its special attack, by the way. Is it really? Well, I guess it's fine. Still ain't getting a whole lot here. Hmm. Pikachu can't really sweep this whole damn thing, can it? I might have to run back again. No problem. We're doing a long stream today, chat. I'm taking tomorrow off anyway, so it's fine. I was thinking tomorrow I was just going to spend some time reading some manga and all that. Because I realized I haven't had a good day to just sit down and read for myself. Not to mention my what might still feel injured a bit, so I don't know if I can even go the walking trail. Caterpie. I'm going to switch it in. Don't know if I mentioned it, but um, I did for the... I go... I can't talk. Holy crap. I went back to the walking trails for the first time since, like, I had my injury back the other year, and that was nice. I went very far, but by the time we were home, I got, like, a huge blister, and it hurts to walk on, like, my right leg right now. Still, I got, I just gotta get used to it again, but I shouldn't push it, otherwise I'm gonna have, like, a gross thing I'll have to go to the doctor for. Okay, let's keep you in. I've felt so good since I've been exercising again. It's so nice. Okay, peck you. Look away for one phone call and you miss a hype train. Ah, the hype train notification just kind of pops up whenever anyone subs. I don't really care too much about it. I think the idea is that it's there to try and, like, um... Like, make pressure people into subbing when they see someone else sub. I'm just gonna run back to Pokemon Center since it's so close. Chad, I'm never gonna sit here and be like, give me money. You think I'm gonna spend it on responsible things? Didn't you hear me earlier? I'm gonna spend it on more anime pictures on the side of the screen. <laughs> money well spent. Do you see this, Teddy? Money. Okay. These little spaces here indicate a hidden item, by the way. A lot of people don't know that. That You see that little little squiggle right in front of me? It's very hard to see that on OG Game Boy Advance hardware, but Fire and Leaf Green has those hidden berries. Hey, you're not wearing shorts. What's wrong with you? Oops. All anime. No idea if this is compatible with the randomizer. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, I'm getting karate ch- Oh my god, seriously, that wasn't even a crit. <sighs> Back to the Pokemon Center we go. Maybe we can at least get Ivysaur. I mean, I did accept the Pikachu had a bad nature for defense. No problem, though. Let's do it. I don't know if there's anything worth grabbing in Mount Moon. I mean, do you think I'm gonna grab? You think I'm gonna catch a Clefairy? <laughs> Can you imagine me? Mankey's high early attack with stab Karate Chop as well. Yep, yep. Might just wait to get Charmander past Nugget Bridge or something. 
That decision might bite me in the butt, but I'd rather not catch a random Pokemon that I know I'm gonna ditch, like, uh, two towns later anyway. Is that Jigglypuff a different shade now? I swear the Jigglypuff changes shade as well. It totally did. It totally did. And so did the Chansey. So the Overworld Pokemon have that Stadium shade as well. I'm pretty sure Trade Evos evolve normally. I can't imagine a ROM hack that doesn't change that. Maybe I should take the opportunity to use a Gengar or something then. That'd be kind of cool. I'd be doubling up on Poison, but it, Gengar has Levitate this gen, so... Not like it matters. I'll battle you with the Pokemon I caught. I can catch a Sandshrew, but I don't really want a Sandshrew. I already have a ground type. Or I will. Nidoking. Alright. Electroshock him. I imagine since Bulbasaur was in Viridian, that house is just gonna be... Uh, it's just gonna be Poliwhirl for Jinx. Do it. Metapod. Nah, no, keep going. I mean, at the same time, I, I like getting to use Pokemon I don't normally use, but, um... Generally as well, uh, it, it's Kanto. The options are kind of, you know, limited anyway. It's hard to pick something that hasn't been, I haven't used a thousand times. Hell, I haven't even used Nidoking in an Eternity, so that's why I'm using it now. Only one that pops to mind is, is Gengar, because I've used Alakazam and Machamp in previous playthroughs already, recently it feels like. And Golem. <laughs> Actually, no, wait. Golem was an MVP in Crystal Kaizo, remember? I used him for Explosion. Because <laughs> it can- it's, it was a good switch in for electric types, but everything had to have Hidden Power Grass. So that quickly got useless. Even Golem was used, yeah. Eek, did you touch me? No. I could use Nido Queen. <laughs> Who really sits there and says, I'm gonna use Nido Queen instead of Nido King? That little extra defense really could matter. Get pounded. Better switch. Me, because girl power. Alright, Captain Cringe. Have it your way. Queen. Nido Queen has a great special move pool, I guess. But you don't really have access to that until after Fire and Leaf Green were a thing. I guess maybe Let's Go Special Needle Queen is a thing. Casual playthrough-wise, I mean. Route 4 is at the foot of Mount Moon. What can I run into here? There's Spiro. Let's kill... If you run into a shiny Nidoran F, absolutely use Nidoqueen. Shiny Pokemon are kind of the rule, though, as well as, like, Nuzlocks. Of course, like, you know, you don't really have a choice. Your options are a lot more limited. Okay, it looks like the Pokemon here are pretty basic. Can two-shot the Pokemon here. What What's Nidoking's hidden ability? I actually don't remember what they get. Hell, I don't even remember what their normal ability is. Sheer Force. Ooh, that does sound good. On Nido King, damn. Yay. Right, Poison Point is normal. And useless. Berries! I may or may not need these. I don't think Orin Berries were gonna do much in Brock's battle. They also get Rivalry. Yeah, that's... pretty cringe. Person Berry. Oh, I didn't use an Orin Berry against Brock, no. 
the flinch, the flinch was the problem there, not a berry. Uh, I could buy the Magikarp on the off chance it's shiny. I do this pretending it'll ever happen. Damn. Special attack nature, too. Whoopee. Kind of box that thing forever. Yeah, you can go far away there, buddy. Far away there. I've never gotten a shiny gift Pokemon. Oh, hey, Meowth's up there. Let's go cutscene. It's Jesse and James. Looks like there's nothing here. Then let's just search farther in. You! You were eavesdropping on us just now, weren't you? Meowth, you were supposed to be keeping watch. More. We know there's rare fossils buried around here somewhere. If you've got any, you better hand them over to us, twerp. That's right, if anyone's gonna profit out those rare fossils, it's gonna be us. Wahaha. Well, there they go. And I took one step. You know, I've never understood the Team Rocket motto. Why do they say, protect the world from devastation, unite all people within our nation? They're the bad guys. Why do they say that? They're literally trying to rob children, and then they're like, we're here to protect the world, and they just, wh why? Why do they say that? It makes no sense. <laughs> it's because they just got it wrong. <laughs> Isn't it like a localization thing? <laughs> they just don't know what they're saying. Suspicious men are in this cave. What about you? Misunderstood. Hey, child, give us that Pikachu. They really shouldn't have just... They really shouldn't have just, like, did something else for the 20 years. Try, instead of trying to take that Pikachu. Can you imagine waking up and you're, like, your 30s, 30s or 40s? Realizing you spent 20 goddamn years trying to get that Pikachu. I'd have a, I'd have a crisis. I'd be like, what's wrong with me? What am I doing with my life? Think of all the money they've spent. That would make a funny video, by the way. Calculating all the money Team Rocket has spent throughout the series. Let's do it. Time doesn't pass in Pokemon. It's probably only been a year. Maybe. There's an episode where the other Team Rocket members call them out on saying the motto wrong. Ah. What's a giant Robo Meowth work? I don't know. Uh, worth? I don't know. You got me. I feel like they probably could have just, you know, bought some Master Balls with all that crap. Bullet Seed. Don't need that. I don't really have... I don't really want to swap the moves of Bulbasaur anyway. Look at that sign. Beware, Zubat is a bloodsucker. Watch out for leech life. No, 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 no. This ain't Gen 7, buddy. I don't gotta watch out for crap. What? I'm waiting for my friends to find me here. The inside of Mount Moon looks very different so far. Iris gonna... Kill! Kill! Chat, you see that Clefairy? It needs to die. It has to die. The demon! Get it before it gets to the teddies. No fairy types for you. Oh, damn. No! It's already spreading the infection. And I'm spreading mine. Poison, poison. Fine, then. The whole crusty crew can get some damn XP. Encore. Get poisoned, son. Okay, we got Ivysaur from this. Pikachu is so, like, not powerful right now. It's not even funny. 
I lost? Yeah, you did. Get out of here. Yay. We're getting the one that was in Smash Brothers. Bum, 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 ba, bum, bum. How's Ivysaur animated for this sprite? I want to see. Come on. Ivy. Oh, that's cute. He's a little blink. Moves his head a bit. Okay, since we beat two trainers and we're by the entrance anyway, let's go do this. Can't get a Thunderstone normally until Celadon. See him again. I don't. Ugh. Paris. Has anyone ever seriously used Paris in a playthrough? I know it evolves decently fast, but... Yeah, the Bug Grass is not a great type. Doesn't really get access to grass moves in Gen 1 either, right? Oh, you're pretty fast, kid. I think, like, the best it can do in Gen 1 is Slash, right? I mean, it does get Spore. Yeah. Run away, Pikachu. So let's loot this whole taco stand. Why don't we? Probably should have bought some repels, but it's okay. Is it the only thing, um... Hang on. In Gen 1, is Parasec the only thing that can use Spore? Gen 1 sleep is busted, yeah, so... Yes, yes. Oh. We strike fear with our strength. Paris and Parasect are the only ones that can Spore in Gen 1. Guess so. Gen in Gen 2, the only other Pokemon that can Spore is Smeargle. Yeah. Smeargle's a little exception, though. And then in Gen 3, I think at least Berloom gets it, right? Uh, yeah, that's true. You can use the Mega Drain TM from Celadon, I guess. Baby Shrill. Now we got little Zoo. Use Parasect and Legend Arceus. <laughs> Those things always wanted to throw square up against you in that game. Oh, that's true. In Gen 1, growth is basically Calm Mind because the special stat covers two things. Yeah, I guess I can see the appeal of Parasect, but it's definitely not like... Uh, it's something you gotta like know what you're doing to use it. What level does it get Spore in Gen 1? I'm curious. Go, go, go. Come on, get it. Oof. Berloom only gets it as Shromish in Gen 3, and that's at very late levels. Neat. Quick attack, Teddy. 27 for Paris, 30 for Parasect. Damn, that's, that's way faster than I thought. I blew it! Misremembered, growth is level 48, uh, 30 is for Spore. Okay. Star piece. Darn it all, my associates won't stand for this. You see that, Teddy? His associates won't stand for it. Go for Pikachu. What do I evolve the Eevee into? Well, who says I'm even going to take the Eevee? I'm already gonna have types for all the Pokemon it can evolve into. Yeah, uh, double team. Um, you know what? I could try scum strats. Who knows? You could use that. I've used evolutions in so many playthroughs. The only ones I haven't really used were Leafeon and Glaceon. And that's because every damn game tries their hardest to make sure you can't get those things early. Maybe you couldn't blaze black, but I don't remember if you could get early Eevee. You need to go through this cave to get the Cerulean City. Yeah, I've used Sylveons at some point, too. I think I used it in, um... 
Gosh, there was a hack I used it in. I can't remember which one it was. Ah, Gen 4 Leafeon. Razor Leaf and then Leaf Blade and le at level 70 something. What a great design Pokemon that was. <laughs> what a fantastic Pokemon. They they made that Grass Eevee and then they left it there to die. They gave it no tools for survival. You know what? Let's send it in. Send it in. I'll spam all my thunder zaps. Sylveon with a pixelate is just weird. Can be. Caterpie. Hmm. What about BDSP? How early can you get an Eevee in that game? Because it's based on Diamond and Pearl where Eevee was post-game. Platinum was the one that let you get Eevee kind of early. Ah, oh, post-game still? God damn it. I guess you could always just trade it from a, a game when you're starting. Eh, or something. I lost. What? Don't sneak up on me. Can't believe you can't use freaking Leafeon. Ugh. Alright. Well, I guess we need a double kicker for this. That, there's like a warm filter on that Magnemite. You see it? It's looking a little red in the face there. Hmm. Send it out, send it out. Don't think you can go boom, but with how things have been going right now, Kind of purplish. A little bit rusty. A little bit dusty. Your screech will accomplish nothing. My kick will break you apart. See that crap, Teddy? I did it again. Level 17. This team is coming together. I like it. Oh, it's not a candy anymore? No, wait. That's not where the candy is. Candy's over here. Yeah. I tend to save my rare candies to, like, the Elite Four or something. But in the case of a challenge mode hack, I might just use them whenever we get walled by a gym leader or something. Misty might be a little rough. Especially since if her Starmie gets uh, psychic coverage, which will be stabbed for her, uh, two of my Pokemon are going to get super bodied. I'm going to need Pikachu for that one. Excavating fossils here under Mount Moon. Sometimes Brock Computer Gym lends me... A hand. Hello, lass. Wow! Bigger in here than I thought! Kid's just running around this cave like it's nothing. Miriam's got an oddish. Okay, that's not gonna do much. I may as well just go into Nidoran and peck it. I can't think of... Any other Pokemon I'd really want to catch to deal with Misty, though. <laughs> Basically, I should save Pikachu for Starmie. Hmm. What am I doing? Everything will be fine if we believe in the Pikachu. Children yearn for the mines. Mm, yeah, I guess so. The children yearn to play with animals. I have no animal friend IRL chat. I only have the teddy on the PNG. Okay, he's down. Damn, that's a lot. You see. Oh, hang on, cutscene before I talk. What are you doing, buddy? Yikes, quit following us. <laughs> talk to you first. Did you come to explore the cave too? I still want to get, like, um, I'm thinking maybe I'll get a cat. Like, uh, because people are saying I, I, I do much better with a cat. <laughs> I, I want it, I want to get a dog, too, but, like, um, I don't know if I'd be able to keep up with it right now. Plus, but, but, but I'm not getting any pets until 100% I can, um, guarantee I have money saved on the side for, like, emergency vet bills and all that. 
To be fair, though, I have, like, kind of put off researching that stuff, but, like, I feel like I wouldn't want to take care of a little animal unless I could be absolutely certain I can have money on the side for stuff like that. I mean, I've, I've taken care of small dogs before, like, at, at, you know, the family dog and all that. Let's see here. Perfect. Hmm. I'd hope in the future I could have a cat and a dog if they could play nice together. We'll have to see how that goes. Most people will adopt animals without even considering rainy days. Oh, yeah, I know. Cats are good at scaring clipperies. Losing stinks. I have heard so many horror stories about people who will, like, adopt an animal... And then they just get, like, bored of it a couple weeks later because they realize it's actually a responsibility to take care of a damn animal. And I'm like, hmm. Grinds my gears. Meanwhile, I'm over here being like, no, I need to have money to take care of it. <laughs> Especially if it gets real bad. Your dogs and cats love to snuggle together. It's so wholesome. Aw. I'm going back to heal Pikachu because it got fainted. Perfect. I want to take the puppy on little walks, too. Yeah, animals are work. People think that it's just supposed to stand there looking cute for you. It's like, no, you gotta, you gotta feed the damn thing. You gotta give it exercise. Oh, boy. Hope to see you again. Hmm. Yeah, don't, don't just get, like, a dog because your kid wants one, and then, like, and then just, like, drop it off once, like, your kid's bored of it. Ugh. Take that crap. Alright. Oh, I don't like, I, I, I don't like letting, the idea of letting a cat wander around. I, I see that a lot, and it's like, dude, you're just, like, asking that thing to get, like, freaking hit by a car. Hmm. I'd be freaking terrified. Excellent. Level 16. Yeah, especially if you live in an area that could have, like, coyotes or something. It's like, what are you doing? Ugh. Gotta play with the cat, otherwise they're gonna get, like, bored and destroy everything. Yeah, just get a virtual pet if you don't want to pay for stuff. Alright. Holy moly, I barely took a step here. I'm just gonna run away from the Zubat. Yeah, challenge mode makes the game harder. Brock's Omanite had so much EVs or IVs that it actually tanked a Vine Whip and then killed me. <laughs> We're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. Excellent. Okay, Rocket Grunt, Zubat. In the UK, they had an advertisement with a slogan that says, A pet is for life, not just for Christmas. Because so many people were buying pets as Christmas gifts and then not looking after them uh, looking after them after a few weeks. Oh. God, that grinds my gears. Yeah. That they even need to put a slogan out like that. Hang on. This thing could probably poison me, so I'm going to play it safe and just let Nidorino bop this. Hurt by rap? No problem. We're going to do this. I'd be too paranoid to let a cat wander. I, I, I couldn't do it. I'd be scared of it. I'd be scared of it getting hurt out there. Okay, let's do this. 79. I'm close to level 18 here. The Moonstone's actually right around the corner when I go back down over there, I think. Oh, TM Thief? I don't really need that. Let's go. Too bad. Alright, let's go. Hang on, before I go fight that guy, 
That Geo dude's looking a little green. He's got that like that poop green filter on him now. He's a poop dude now. Moonstone should be here. Nice. All right, chat. You remember ready to see the game broken? Nido King is so damn cool, if you ask me. There's a lot of different pockets here. Look at that. Free space, medicine. Different from actual Fire Red Leaf Green and Emerald. All right. Bum, 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 bum. Nido King is good and broken, but he's cool. He's freaking cool. That's why he's the king. God, he's so cool. All right. Let's fight you. Wow, you shocked me. Oh, you're just a kid. The map here looks a little different. The trainers are wandering around. Is this more based on Let's Go? Maybe. Hmm. I can't remember fully how different the Let's Go layout is here. I think it is. Your cat likes to chew wires. Oh, that would... The idea of, like, going to sit down to stream and, and my cat would just, like, chew the wires apart. Oh, no, 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 no. Gonna make sure the cat stays out of the stream room, unless I show it off. Chat, you can believe if I get a cat. I am going to show all of you pictures of it nonstop. That onyx is a little pink. It's a flesh onyx. Cat tax from streamer. <laughs> Whoa, shocked again. Kids like you shouldn't be wandering around in the dark. Now you want me to get a cat even more. Well, we can look into it. Hey, look, there's one. Free real estate. Mrower. Okay. Okay, let's go. Here comes Geodude. Run away from it. Cat tree in the stream room. You believe if I if I got a cat, listen, I've mentioned about the idea of like getting my living room set up as a big gaming space when I have like um the space to myself to do that, right? I'd probably just have, like, a little corner with just, like, a little cat tree or something where the cat can play. And while I'm gaming, the cat could just chill on my lap or something. Let's go. Thundershock. Super effective. Give me some of that. Hang on. Pikachu hug. Pikachu st suddenly started walking closer. Little kids shouldn't be messing around with grown-ups. It could be bad news. Yeah, that's Internet Safety 101. What you got? Now, does he have the Raticate? No, Ratata. Oh, yeah, I should check Nido King's follow sprite. But first, let's just kick this guy's rats. Oh, yeah, Nido King looks like he's winding up for a freaking punch on something. Hell, yeah. Cat could redeem snacks and water for the cat as well. I don't think I need to do that. Chat is allowed to water the streamer, not water the cat. Let's see. Ooh, look at that sand shrew color. That's neat. I meant to switch, but I just kind of instant text through it. Remember, chat, if you don't redeem hydrates, I literally die of thirst while, while playing the games. This teddy bear is stuck in my arms. I can't get a drink unless you get rid of it. Level 18. Heck yeah. Game hydrate. All right. Uh, my water is actually empty, but I have like... I took a little thing of fizzy water on the side to open. I'm going to have some of that. I want something cool and fizzy. Pretend my character is taking a drink. Don't let the immersion be broken. 
Just for, we don't have that uh, commission done yet. Or even ordered. Or 16. Okay. What else you say? Pokemon lived here long before people came. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Reflections in the water. Quit goofing around and go already. You can do it, Meowth. For an hour. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Okay, a couple battles left. And then we got the Team Rocket double battle. We, Team Rocket, shall find the fossils. Reviving Pokemon from them will earn us ri huge riches. Put the bear down. All right. I put the bear down. He gets a nap now, chat. Even Teddies need a break from video games. <laughs> you can train a cat to do anything, even your taxes. But cats don't believe in taxes, exactly. Hang on. Okay, good. I don't want Pikachu to faint here. I only got one revive. Teddy is a fake gamer? Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not go overboard there. Teddy is a lot of things, and a gamer is will always be one of them. Just like a Moomin. Okay, let's do it. Perfect. 17. Ooh, that's four to speed. Probably because I'm killing a bunch of Zubats in here. Oh, now I'm mad. I'm, like, so angry and stuff. Wah. I don't know why I just imagined he talked like that. Also, Hidden Moonstone here. A lot of people don't know about that. I always make a point to pick it up. Um, hang on a second. I didn't use the Lure in here, but I feel like there's not really anything. Angry Redeem. Okay, chat, you're gonna just, like, redeem all the anger now, hmm? Hmm? You want, you want, you want the PNG tuber to get mad? Is this what you want? You want me looking disgusted? Right, I'm disgusted at you. I see your Goku avatars. Those are disgusting. No, Naruto avatars, we should say. Any anime avatar is cringe. Oh, wait, that includes me right now. Oh, no. Oh, sorry, I didn't put Needle King up front yet. Wait, I can't apologize. I look angry. Now I'm happy again. Yeah, Needle King's behind me. Are these the Heart Gold Soul Silver sprites? I think they are. Hey, stop! I found these fossils. They're both mine. Super nerd Miguel Sento Grimer. Let me just peck it. I can't get poisoned when I'm already a poison type. You know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna pretend it's actually gonna work this time. Not today. Chad, I've never, I've never honestly watched Naruto. I assume people like it for a reason. I'm not one of the people that's gonna sit here and be like, yeah, they watched 100 episodes of a blank screen. I just don't get it. Voltorb, send it out. I can't talk. I play the same video games for 10,000 hours each. Yield. Coughing. Yeah, keep going. Keep going, bro. My energy is focused. I can do this. Ooh, there's a crit. I did it. Nice. Okay, I'll share. Now to take the fossil, I absolutely will never use. All right, this fossil's mine. Okay, I feel like I should always make more safety saves in these games. Cause what if I get a crash? Damn, we're almost two hours. Now I know I'm having fun when time run goes by and I don't even notice. Um, 
Honestly, potion, regular potions will be useless soon anyway. I'm gonna use these up. Probably could have spammed an orange berry, but I still have ten. Damn. Okay. Now it's gonna be no doubt. Hang on. Yeah, I'll leave with you two. There we go. La fairies. Will I beat Misty in the first episode? I don't know. See, I assume if Misty's hard, they're going to have the expectation that I'm not going to try and fight her until after everyone to the north is beaten. Stop right there. Hands off. That fossil belongs to us. Oh, he made an angry face. I gotta do it too. Urgh, how did you even get here ahead of us? We're Team Rocket. I'm Jesse. And push the button. And I'm James. Brower. And the two of us are gonna take that fossil back. Alright. <laughs> I need to, like... I don't know what other, like, generic facial expressions I should commission for for. That Meowth is looking very bright. But I love the disgusted look. It's great. Intimidate. That really sucks. Hmm. Let's go ahead and soften him up first. An Uwu face? God, if I had an Uwu button, I would like... No, wait, that sounds hilarious. It would make people mad. Let's do it. Heck yeah! Soften him up, Uwu. Alright. Now we at least see this one, too. I can't have the expectation that I can just sweep everybody. We're gonna do this. The only way to super effective hit the um, poison types early on is basically confusion from Butterfree. You don't really get access to ground moves. Okay, now that we've done this. Hmm. We'll just do this for. Oh, did I hit tackle? Damn it, I meant to hit Vine Whip. Oh well. Pikachu getting hurt. Do I have a sad face? Yeah, I should make that too. Imagine I just had like little tears to cry. And I could kill the mood with it. Absolutely, I'd love to do that. Thundershock. Alright, Meowth is down. Maybe I should get hang on, what's the name of that anime? It's one of the it, it's one of the ones from like 2004 or 5 um but that has like the anime girl with a really stupid looking frog looking face her her like proportions are super weird It was like I think it was made by the people that made like Clint Clanad I can't remember what the hell it was Oh it's on the tip of my tongue God, I should go back and watch that There's so many anime series I haven't watched I really do need more time to myself. Just, like, sit back and, and watch something and unwind. So I'm too busy, like, doing other stuff so too, too much lately. Alright. Well, now we're gonna spam this. Take him out. How many faces do I have? Right now, I just have my normal face. And my disgusted face. And every alt I have has a disgusted-looking alt. So I can push a button to do that. See, I can hold a teddy with it. Now I cannot. Also, I'm pissed off because Pikachu is dead. Oh well. Pout. Heck yeah. Lucky Star? No, no, no. Not Lucky Star. Ah, It was the one... Like, it was a very famous meme picture for a while. I think the girl kind of had, like, blonde, brownish hair. And she had, like, twin tails. But she has, like, these gigantic freaking eyes that take up, like, the majority of her skull. I never saw the anime. I only saw the picture. My back is really itchy all of a sudden. Uh, pretend I'm scratching my back. I don't know what the anime was about. I just know the picture. Let's see. Air or cannon? That sounds familiar. It might be one of those. What, what is it about? Because I think the series that had that character, people swear that it's one of those, it's one of those animes that makes you freaking cry. 
but people meme about it because it has the because obviously it has the picture. It's like, how can this make you cry? Look at her. <laughs> Both of those series, Air and Canon, I I think they they're ones that make you cry. Hello, friend. Welcome. All right. I think Leech Seeding and Paralyzing was a good play here. That really helped. I can't believe it! A twerp beat us. That's right. You lose, dorks. Looks like Team Rocket's blasted off. You just saw a website that calls the Annoying Orange a VTuber. Okay. I'm like the Annoying Orange now. Maybe I should just get the hyper-realistic lips over my mouth. That would be a funny state. <laughs> <laughs> these are for Mega Punch and Mega Kick. Um, do I want these? I genuinely don't know. Mega Kick is like the speedrun strat because it's like stupid good if it hits. If it hits. A decent early game. Um, I'm gonna get thrashed soon anyway. And the tuners are one time. Pikachu can learn it. Pikachu's not going to be able to do anything with it, though, right? Pikachu can learn Mega Kick. <sighs> Found the picture, but not any source. Can someone link me the picture, or a mod could? I kind of want to show it on screen now, so the YouTube audience knows what the hell I'm talking about. No clue what the show is. I I'm going to regret this. Hang on. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I should do it, but I'm going to fall down the ledge and not come back. Because it's like, if I don't take it, it's going to be like, well, Mega Kick could have saved you later. But if I do take it, it's going to miss all the time, being like, why'd you waste your time getting that move? I don't know if I... I mean, I'm probably never going to use double team. Pikachu's not going to last in battle long enough. Whatever, I'm going to do it. Pikachu has higher attack than special attack. You should run before you're seen by the deluded nitwit who trains by simple punching over there. Let's go. Oh. Roar. Roar XD. I can kick now. It is 10 p.m. I haven't slept in several days, according to my character's progress. Get in there, damn it. 120 power is good when it hits. Restore your Pokemon to full health. If I don't get it now, I'm never going to use it anyway. Holy Whirl, Jinx. Yep, alright, he's still the same. Get that rare candy. There we go. And now we have everyone's favorite rival fight. Hmm. Let me spend my money before I go do that. Hang on, what's this? Move Reminder's house. Dude, they put a new house here. I'm a move tutor. I know all the moves that Pokemon learn. I can teach them. It'll be 5,000 a pop. So you got enough money. Ooh. Interesting. Hang on. If I pick King, <laughs> Yeah, right. Nope. No, the move deleter is in Fuchsia. Well, that's good to know that that's there. Hmm. Hang on. Is the Let's Go Tutor dude here? No, he ain't. Where is... Wait, is that you? That Bill, I heard he'll do whatever it takes to get rare Pokemon. He's not above doing all sorts of things, I've heard. Bill has lots of Pokemon. He collects rare ones. Why don't you go upstairs and try trading with friends? You can get a lot more variety by trading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Have you heard about Bill? Everyone calls him a Pokemaniac. I think people are just jealous of Bill, though. Who wouldn't want to boast about their Pokemon? Do that. See you again. Well, the rival is probably going to stop me, so let me just beat some gym trainers first. Splash, I'm first up. No overpowered moves for Pikachu. No, this is challenge mode, not baby weenie junior mode. Oh, wait, no, Chad. I'm not playing it with uh, my hands tied behind my back, so clearly it is. Thunder Zap. Still one shot, yeah? The anime slash manga for that picture seems to be Kami Chama Karin. Is that it? What is that show? You know, I should be more careful about when I ask the source on an anime, because some half the time I get, uh... I, the, the answer I get back is like the most suspect sounding thing I've ever heard, and I'm like, okay, I regret searching this on Google. <laughs> that can't be. 64 money. Fight you. What, you? I'm more than good enough for you. Misty won't have to be bothered. It's a magical girl show. Now, you know that doesn't narrow it down nowadays. Magical girl shows are either, like, the most wholesome thing ever, or the most... suspect thing ever. <laughs> Shock. Horn attack. Oh, that did a lot. Damn. I want Pikachu to get their damn level, so I'm sending Ivy. From what you can tell, it's just a wholesome magical girl show. Okay. Maybe. The normal kind. Pikachu grew level 18. Plus no defense. That Pikachu's defense is at 14. <laughs> wow. Not only does it have a bad nature, it probably has a garbage defense IV. You overwhelmed me. Not gonna fight Misty. Or I could spend my money and try and fight Misty. Chat probably wants to see that, because if I get a badge, Misty would give me a boost. Guys, that would be awesome. Um... How close is everyone to a level? Should check that first. Okay, should just get Nido King and Ivysaur one level. Honestly, I'm more worried about the rival right now. Hmm. I'm gonna get bodied by trainers anyway, so let's spend money. Spend that. Super lures now. Hmm. Hell with it, buy that too. Now let's get up over here. Let me heal slightly. Oh, Chad, I'm nervous. I kind of want to see if there's any different Pokemon over on the side, but I think it's just going to be the basic crap over here. You leveled up. Let's get you a level up. Over here, silly. Okay, Spearow, looking pretty basic. There should be... Oh, wait, what? The ledge is gone? Oh, I didn't even notice that, to be honest, when I was running by. They actually got rid of the ledge. Even Let's Go doesn't get rid of that. Look at that. Thank goodness. Now I can't softlock myself here. 81. Nice. All right, Nido King needs a handful of wild kills, so let's just take this, and we're going to go try and fight Misty. Just so we can scout what we're going to need to beat her. Brock was uh, challenging in channel challenge mode. <laughs> we'll see how bad this is. I'll start with Ivy. Let's do it. I expect Rival to be tougher. 
right now anyway. Hi, you're a new face. Only the trainers who have a policy about Pokemon can turn pro. What's your approach when you catch and train Pokemon? They gotta be a teddy bear. My policy is an all-out offensive with water type. Thank you, you like my model? I appreciate it. Okay, she got a duck. Level 19? Oh yeah, they expect me to go to the bridge first. Okay, two shots of Vine Whip ought to do it. Or not. Okay. Looks like Psyduck doesn't have confusion. Let's do it. Come on. Let's see if we can do this. So only get Ivysaur back to full. Let's see if she uses potions. Okay, you're fast asleep. Okay, I was expecting this to kill, but it probably won't. Yep, yeah, there it is. Okay. Guess I should have vine with that turn. No problem. Disabled no more, finally. I thought the disable had already worn off. Damn. At least I'm making her waste the potion now. I say that as if I have a real chance of winning this. Slowpoke. Oh, now that's gonna be have confusion. Hmm. Nah. I have to just do it. Okay, good. It is slow, Poke. Of course it's slow. Let's see how much you can take. Looks like I'll need three hits on you. Come back after proper training. He's an easy two-shot. Oh, he woke up immediately. Damn it. Well, we did what we could. And here comes Starmie. Psychic, Confusion, or Psybeam. Alright, there it is. Yep, I knew it had it. Knew it had it. Alright then. Nido King has no moves to hit this thing, for sure. My only chance is to paralyze the damn thing. Hi Mino, thank you for the raid. Oh, I'm getting killed. Yeah, I don't stand a chance against this. It's Starmie at this point. Of course not. Guess I'll die. <laughs> this is what happens when Starmie has more than Swift and Water Gun. <laughs> Loves off. Oh, I did so good against the first two as well. I was hoping to put it to survive an attack as with Ivy so that I could put it to sleep and leech seed it, and then just maybe the rest of them could have stalled long enough to finish it off. It's only one level higher than base game, but that Psybeam makes all the difference. Yeah, Starmie is an amazing Pokemon. Misty's is garbage, though, because it has no moves. That's the only reason it's bad. Anyways. Nido King needs Thrash very badly. Maybe I should have just gave it Mega Punch. Wait, I can still do that. <laughs> I might as well until I get Thrash, yeah. We don't need Leer. Let's go do it. Ekans. Ekans with its Gyarados ass, freaking sound and cry. At least Ivy got lots of XP by doing that. Can't discount that. Yes. Get rid of Leer. Mega Punch and Mega Kick aren't really gonna do much, but better than nothing. Alright. Most situations, I'm gonna want to use Electric Stab with Pikachu anyway, but I don't know, I just felt like giving it Mega Kick because I never use those guys anyway. 
Okay, um, he's probably gonna start with Pidgeotto. Mm. Or is it... Mm. Let's try this. Two hours we're into this chat, not bad. Hope you're all having a wholesome day watching. Yo, Red, you're still struggling along back there. I'm doing great. Caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me see what you caught. What's he got? He's got three Pokemon. He still has Pidgey. Interesting. Okay, let's go for it. My hasty Pikachu can outspeed you. Oh, I paralyzed him. Oh, he's going for the double team. He tried to go for a quick attack, didn't he? Okay, easy first kill. Now he's immediately going for Eevee. Now... I know why it's a bad idea to fight the Eevee. You know why? Because uh, something I heard about that... He has... His Eevee in this fight has Dig. Specifically in challenge mode to counter Pikachu. So... Yeah, we gotta... We gotta deal with this thing. Nice! We basically got him now. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. You go ahead, buddy. Nice. Alright. Now we got this taken care of. He's going double team spam, and he has freaking Dig to hit Pikachu with, yeah. I, I don't want to get hit by it to show it off, but I know he has that. Before I, like, accidentally kill it with a crit, and people are like, How is this challenge mode? Alright. Since I've got the time, I'll set up for the crime. Oh, yeah, see, he's going for it. This is fine. Let's go back to Ivy. I guess he would use that against Nidoking. I don't know who I was fooling there. Remember, they're also EV trained with high IVs, it seems like. He's still doing it. This is actually really good for me since I hit him with Leech Seed. Shoutouts to people that think ditching Leech Seed for Bullet Seed would have been a good idea. I just get my health back. I got I got the lad. Hang on. I need some fizzy water. Let me get a drink. Dig should have like 80 power, I think. Pretty good for early game. Oddish. Okay. I uh, should probably paralyze it. It's probably going to have gra good grass moves this time. That's a shiny. And you got a little star symbol. Alright, Mr. Fancy Pants. Is this like a preset thing? Yeah, kick him. Kick that Oddish. And then eat it. Damn it. Stunned me. Does he just get a random ass shiny Oddish because he's freaking he's the freaking rival? Ooh, kick is still hitting. He got Sludge Bomb. The level 18 Oddish has Sludge Bomb. Stab Sludge Bomb. Alright then. This is his real ace. Want challenge mode? Yeah, there's your challenge mode. <laughs> nice. Hey, take it easy. You won already. Yeah, I won. Get out of here, boy. Hey, guess what? I went to Bill's and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bill's a world famous as a Pokemaniac. He invented the Pokemon storage system on PC, too. Since you're using his system, you should go thank him. Well, better get rolling. Oh, yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. No, really. You're always plotting behind me. So here, I'll give you a little present as a favor. Oh, he gives me the Versus Seeker. A weak trainer like you? That thing's perfect. I don't need it because I don't give a hoot about training hard. 
All right, this time I'm really am gone. Smell you later. All right. I should register that. I can use the Versus Seeker for grinding now already. That's good. Wild how his team was that strong, but the Pidgey was a Pidge but the Pidgeotto became Pidgey for the fight. No problem. All right, chat. Let's explore a little bit. Hang on. Was this always a house I could go into? What's this? Oh, it's you. The berry powder guy, right. The tuber looks great on your new monitor. Well, thank you, friend. I'm glad you like it. People call this Nugget Bridge. Being us five trainers and win a fabulous prize. Hey, you know what we should, we know what we should do? We should bring the teddy back. Teddy had a little break. He had his snacks. He can watch the rest of the stream with us. And now we're back to level 11 Caterpies. All right then. No problem, Pikachu needs some XP anyway. Ooh. Potatoes are great. Hey, I'm not a potato. My animal face is not a potato, how dare you. 21. Metapod. I'll keep hitting it. I shall keep hitting it. The rival's probably gonna have Vaporeon because I uh, intentionally lost the, the second rival fight. That's normally how yellow version determines that. Uh, doesn't Let's Go also determine it the same way if you're playing Let's Go Pikachu? I actually don't know, now that I think about it. Only Let's Go Pikachu, because if you're playing Eevee, the rival will have to have Raichu. I did lose the first fight as well. Don't worry. I did my best, I got no regrets. Do it. I'm second, now it's serious. I wonder how the Versus Seeker handles these uh, other teams here, too. Okay, this one's a Pidgey, we can do this. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, one, yeah, 19, perfect. You know, this kind of reminds me, I was wa I've was i been watching a lot of videos about speedrunning again lately, right? I watched one that was like the, the world history of like the task runs for uh, Red and Blue and all that. And I thought some of that stuff was just really funny and interesting. That's, I, I mean, obviously like Nino King is still like kind of the god of that stuff, right? But it's just interesting how people just keep routing the tasks to, to account for perfect luck and manipulation. One of the funniest things that, that like, <laughs> I remember hearing about is that, like, that one of the things the task does to save PP is when they're in Rock Tunnel, there's a hiker with three exploding Pokemon, and the task manipulates RNG so that all of them miss via, like, with the 1 in 256 glitch. <laughs> yeah. Just like one of my videos. That's so funny. I think, though, later in later rent, uh, editions of the run, they figured out a faster way that doesn't do that anymore, though, which is unfortunate, because it's funny. You can manipulate anything with RNG if you know what you're doing. Ekans, I'll let Pikachu hit it. I really would love to have Earthquake on Nidoking. However, I think Nidoking... Hmm... What am I thinking here? Nido King can't get Earthquake until I find the TM in Victory Road, though, right? Damn. Or wait, doesn't Giovanni give you Earthquake instead of Fissure in Gen 3? I think he did. Because Fissure's not a TM anymore after Gen 1. He does. Oh, that's gonna take forever. Still, Nido King's good, even without the stab. Let me see... Earthquake was actually in Sylphco in Gen 1. Oh, really? I'm number four, getting tired? No, not at all, actually. No 
Okay, it's only Nidoran. We can zip it, we can zap it. I don't think people... One of the least done speedruns for Pokemon, I think, is like, um... Do, do people really do much speedrunning for XD and Coliseum? Or is there something up, uh like, more silly about it that makes people not want to. Because you'd think the, uh, not rem the idea of removing, like, wild encounters would make it faster. But I guess since you're dependent on certain Pokemon, you have to start with the right Umbreon and Espeon, so I don't know. I assume that they take full advantage of Umbreon and Espeon, but maybe, like, one or two shadows they catch for the hell of it. I have no idea what's fast in that game. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Last rally defeated again. <clears throat> Pardon me, jeez. Okay, I'm number five. I'll stop you. I think they use Quilava for the speed run. Yeah. Gets decent moves or something, right? Karate Chop. Well, Pikachu's dead. So sorry, everybody. I failed you. I let the rodent die. I thought Umbreon could do something silly in Colosseum, but I guess not. Okay, take it out. God, I kind of want to watch a video like that now. Imagine a video that's just like the world record history of Pokemon Coliseum or XD. That'd be so fun. I remember Summoning Salt made one on Red and Blue, but... Uh, some, of, like, some of his videos are like six or five years old now, and they're so outdated. As as good as they are, that's just like the like natural for speedruns. Of course, there's going to be lots of new records five or six years after you make something like that. Like, his Mario 64 one, as good as it is, there's been so many records set since then. There's nothing you can do about that, right? Wait, there's a dude over there. Is that the Charmander guy now? You beat five contest trainers. You just earned a fabulous prize. By the way, would you like to join Team Rocket? We're a group of professional criminals specializing in Pokemon. Want to join? You sure? Come on, join us. I'm telling you to join. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you not be. You can't refuse. Do you see this crap, Teddy? I don't think he's a move tuner guy. That's already in Cerulean right now. Is this recharge yellow because Pikachu keeps dying? <laughs> I see what you did there. Let's do it. Okay, he's sludging. I'm switching. You can turn on level caps. But I didn't. Alright, let's do it. Let's punch it. Critical hit. Drowsy. Um, I... You know what, I'll stay in. You sludging, I'm switching. Absolutely. Punch the fudge-dipped elephant. Punch it! I know there's plenty of people that speedrun ROM hacks, but I don't know much about that scene at all. I would love to do a speedrun stream of something sometime, but I don't know what. Oh, I'm going to have to switch now. Hang on. Switching over here. Confusion. I don't think I'd do it for, um... I don't know if I could do it for something like Pokemon. Because, um... Bleh. Especially for the older ones, it's all about manipulation, man, manipulating the RNG at that point. I don't really want to play through the game doing that at all times. Maybe Purity Forest, since I'm like... <laughs> I've run that ga that dungeon more times than most people. I could actually go... I feel like I probably could try it. Even though Hoom's the only one that has a record for it. Come on. Let's do it. So I shouldn't, I shouldn't say no RPGs because RNG, because there's some ones that, yeah, I, I could go for it. Well, I think the intimidating factor is 
some games are so old and so optimized that like it's too it's just too intimidating to try and get into some games but you can if you just give it a try like i remember seeing a video about it's like you can learn to speed run ocarina of time like the, the complete messy glitchy speed run and it's not that hard you just have to put a little time into it but some of that stuff is wild ocarina is one of the most busted games ever with your ability, you become a top leader in Team Rocket. Come to think of it, uh, think of the opportunity. Hang on. On the subject of that, though... Hang on, before I say this, let me let me talk to him. I'm not good at raising Pokemon. Seems like you do raising this, too. Okay, defeat all the trainers and I get Charmander. Excellent. I can do that. Um, I saw a video. It was kind of recent, right? It was about an accidental uh, discovery in speedrunning Zelda. And, um, it was, someone was messing around inside of Dodongo's cavern, and they realized that, like, the polygons in there are really messed up if you, like, load them weirdly. And they managed to make a setup where if you fall off the bridge, uh, hanging by that giant skull, it can warp you to Ganon's tower, and it's like, what? And there's, like, a big, long explanation as to how that thing can be set up, and it's like, what? What? Like, you just, like, keep loading the room over and over until, like, the game's just, like, doesn't understand what it's loading anymore, and you can just, like, trick it into creating a load zone in that spot. It makes no sense, but apparently it works. Ganon floor, that's what they call it. Yeah, you fall through the floor and you're at Ganon. Another interesting one I saw was... You know how, like, Smash Brothers Brawl has, like, a five-minute demo of Ocarina you can play? People manage to, like, activate, like, arbitrary code execution to warp to the credits during that. <laughs> That's also really amusing. Okay, finish you off. Hamper Shane defeated. You don't trick it to make the load zone, you overflow it until it makes the load zone. Yeah, something like that. Let me see. Perfect. There are some weird speedrun tricks out there. I think one of the weirdest I, I heard about was, wasn't there like an NES game where people discovered if you heat up the cartridge, it makes something in the game act differently? So like there's a speedrun where people put their NES on a hot plate to like manipulate RNG. Like, I'm not I'm not even joking right now. This is a real thing people did. I don't think I've seen the video though. Like they genuinely do something like that. And it's like, this is a little weird. <laughs> it's Dragon Quest 3. What does it actually do? I'm curious. Like, what is this change that requires putting your NES on a hot plate? <laughs> That's so funny. I just got down from Mount Moon, but I still got gas in the tank. How does that work? Like, wh what does it- how does it work? That's what I want to know. And who figured this out? Oh yeah, like, cartridge tilting and hitting messes things up. There's a clip of, like, a Japanese guy. Um, he, like, tapped his cartridge of Mario 64 after he got kicked out of a bomb battlefield, and he hopped back in the painting, and it took him to, like, one of the snow locations, and he's like, what? Huh? Huh? What did I just do? And it's because he hit the cartridge and he messed it up. Hang on. If you heat up the, the NES, it makes the, the CPU run more slowly so you can do something specific. Is that it? Welcome, Will. The first thing you see when you join is that I, I'm holding a teddy. Exactly. Look at that cute little bear. What a friend. I'm gonna do this. I didn't see what was coming out, to be honest. I feel like you're gonna damage your NES and cartridge if you do that, though, right? It's such a ridiculous concept, but... You worked hard! Okay, let's beat you. Local trainers come here to practice. Let's see... Yeah, they don't use very high temperatures. Like, they don't set the damn thing on fire. Broken console, any percent. Let's 
go. Sometimes we can learn <laughs> just how broken video games are and we can mess with them. It's wild. Wait, apparently messing with the- using the hot plate on Dragon Quest 3, it sets the characters to level 99. Are you serious? That's a pr that that would be really funny if that's true. There's no way it's that simple, though. You're going to see Bill? First we battle. Hiker Wayne would like to battle. That Onyx is looking a little blue and pale at the same time. All right, let's send in Ivy again. I think I can take Misty next time we get to her. We're doing good. We're doing A-OK. -okay. If I could beat Misty today, though, that would be great. Super effective. You're something. Yeah, you're something all right, too, buddy. Dad took me to a great party on the SSN. Wait, hang on. So, if the cartridge is heated up, it makes the game think that the, the in-game timer has been going for a really long time, and then just, like, maxes out the level using some kind of feature? Am I understanding that? I should just watch the video, like, when I'm done streaming, and know what the hell I'm talking about. Oh, you're just making a guess. Okay, uh, alright. See, what? The, given the topic, you, you, I could just accept that as an explanation. I don't know. Actually looked it up. It does set the level to 99. Wow. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna see that. Look up a channel called, like, Lunatic J. I've been marathoning some of his speedrun videos lately. They're actually very good. He's got a few of them that kind of, like, uh, rode the algorithm to a few hundred K views. Did Lunatic J make that video? Let me see... Apparently, the reason they figured this out is because they were noticing a difference in how the game worked when they were playing in summer versus playing in winter. That is so interesting. It makes sense how it would get discovered in that context, yeah. Hi, my boyfriend is cool. Alright. My, my NES is not cool. It's very heated right now. What about that, Kelsey? What a weird situation that is. <laughs> Winter percent, summer percent. <laughs> that is really funny. Alrighty, 205. More Anita Rand's coming out, but it's okay. I'll just go for the old Thunder Zap. Hail Whip, no problem. See, I love stuff like that because of how, I like, I love learning about how stuff works in, like, a context of a game that way. I'm not going to, like, actually try a speedrun myself with that strategy, but it's just amazing that people figure that out. I mean, like, you guys have seen some of my videos on the Yellow Channel. You should, it should be obvious why I love stuff like that. My conditioning isn't the best. Ugh. Hang on a second. I'm gonna go ahead. I haven't used the lure because there's nothing really to look for, I feel. Do this, do that. I need, I wanna just grab some fizzy water right quick, hang on. I'm getting a little parched talking here. Ugh. Pretend my character is drinking. Pretend, use your imagination. <laughs> Let's see. I'm off to see a Pokemaniacs collection at the Cape. Perfect. Iker Knob would like to battle. Good old Knob. Okay. That's the difference in glitch videos from, like, 15 years ago to today. Back in the day, glitch videos used to just be, like, a random compilation of whatever. But nowadays, like, someone can make, like, a whole 20-minute, 30-minute video breaking down how this stupid thing works, and you're like, yes, I need to know about this. I need to know why 
Dragon Quest 3 runs faster if I put it on a hot plate. Because <laughs> it's, it, it's just so interesting. And of course stuff like that does well in the algorithm. Because not only is it interesting, but people who don't like it will click on the video anyway just to comment about how stupid it is, giving the video more engagement anyway. That's why speedrunning videos just get so stupidly popular. Okay, 22. Oh, Razor Leaf, nice. So it should be special, right? Yes, it is in this game, okay. Well, Vine Whip only has 10 PP. I feel like I should keep Tackle just in case, so Vine Whip can go. Okay, let's do it. My shop. Mm, um, let Nino King fight something, I guess. Let's do it. Here it comes. Eh, it's fine. Super effective. Iker Knobs defeated. You done and got me real good, kid. Nito will shine against Surge. Oh, yes, he will. I'm a cool guy. I got a girlfriend. Yeah? Well, I got a cool bear. How about that? What are you gonna do about that, buddy? Hey, it's only you. No problem. There's a lot of old games that just don't have any glitches, though. Like, some old games can just have, like, the most minor of skips. And then other games or will just be like Ocarina of Time where it can just be like, yeah, what if I open this door and then fall off the map and then I'm at Ganon? <laughs> I love that crap. Excellent. If I show this guy my anime figurine collection, he'll think I'm cool. Oh, his girlfriend will break up with him if I break out the anime figurines. I shouldn't like do him that dirty. Amper Flint. Ah, darn. Alright, let me get this. Secret power. The secret is that it has no power. Ornberry. Okay, two trainers left. I had this feeling. I knew I had to battle you. We'll get the Charmander in a bit. First this. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I am getting very thirsty today, chat. Paper Mario is another cool game to see broken. I've seen more videos about 64. I was watching one about, like, some of its broken, like, speedrunning skips. Like, there's one where you can kind of, like, fall underneath the map and just skip, like, uh, doing prologue stuff. It's so funny. Because if you fall if you fall out of bounds underneath enough, the game will teleport you back above. But you can use that to get over, like, barriers that are blocking the plot. Hi, Cooney. How you doing? We're playing a Pokemon game. All right, hang on. I gotta hydrate and stretch. Chad is using the redeems. Oh, he's Youngster Chad? I didn't realize he was called Youngster Chad. I guess that guy with the girlfriend over there better watch out. All right. <clears throat> Look at all the redeems. Something to use your Teddy tokens on. Remember to water your streamer and check his posture. I knew I'd lose, too. Two Lepa Berries, we take that. Two Hondu Berries. My friend has many cute Pokemon. I'm so jealous. Let's do it. Now here comes Oddish. Hmm... I know Thousand Year Door can get really stupid, but I haven't seen too many videos about it. Here comes Nido King. I'll just let Nido King peck at the death. I don't know about Super. I feel like Super Paper Mario probably has some broken stuff, but it's not as popular, obviously. You know what? You can fight the Pidgey. Okay. Oh, I missed. 
Oh, I'm gonna keep missing, apparently. Aha! But I poisoned him. Who's the real winner now, dork? If Misty's too hard, I, I always could just leave her alone until I come back, because I don't have to beat her. I only need to beat her when I need to use Cut, which is a long time from now, to be honest. Oddish, well, we're gonna have to switch now. Sand attack ruined my accuracy, so I gotta deal with it. Okay. Now we switch back. Send out Nino King. Haha, <laughs> you can't poison me. One seventeen. I'm not so jealous. Not so jealous at all. Okay. Perfect. Clefairy! Hi, I'm a Pokemon. No, I'm not. I'm the devil. That's right. Chat? Chat? Bill has become the enemy. I say we leave him I say we leave him here. He shouldn't have been trying to perform a demonic ritual. That's what that's a real scientific experiment. Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you, pal. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. Help me out. Wait till I get inside the teleporter. Initiated the teleport separation machine. Wouldn't that be funny for a Pokemon horror game? Gosh. Imagine you have to play as Bill after he turns into a Pokemon and the apocalypse is happening outside. <laughs> That's just like nightfall. Yeehaw! Thanks, I owe you one. So did you come to see my collection? Oh, you didn't? That's a bummer. Oh, I gotta thank you. Here, this'll do. SS ticket. That cruise ship SS Anne is in Vermilion City. I hear there are lots of trainers on the board, too. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand fancy dues. Why don't you go instead of me? What happened to the Clefairy? Let's Go shows the Pokemon coming out of the machine, but... This cape is a famous date spot. Misty the Gym Leader has high hopes about this place. Are you here alone? If you're out at Cerulean's Cape, it should be as a couple. Oh, boy, I don't- I will enjoy my single life, thank you very much. Don't need no freaking girlfriend. I want to see what this guy's got. Did you know that you can go from here a long way in that direction without changing direction? I might even be able to roll that way. Do you think your Pokemon will want to roll too? Oh, he is a- He is! Um... Don't need rollout right now, though. Extra new move tutor in this game. Cool. Alright, we're gonna heal and go get the Charmander. He's definitely not in, in normal Fire and Leaf Green. I don't think he's there in Let's Go, either. Let's go. I probably should play some more Pokemon horror games, but there's not really any other ones made. Nightfall is being translated, but... When I played the horror marathon I did back in October of, like, Pokemon Dusk, Dawn, and Nightfall, that is doing super well on YouTube all of a sudden. All of a sudden, YouTube just, like, kept recommending the video to everybody. Hang on. Save again. I'm not good at raising Pokemon. You defeated every trainer in Route 25. Charmander deserves a greater trainer like you. Are you interested in taking care of the Charmander? Yeah. All right, let's hope it's good. Naive nature. Special defense down, speed up. Mm, don't know what, don't know about that one, Chief. Don't know about that one. Reset. Yeah, that person. Surprise Pikachu face. Do 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 do. About the game. That wasn't there before. See. Oh, this one's a little more bright. Relax nature. Oh, that's just a different one. Eh. No, oh, thank you. Pikachu meme. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's do it. Come on, good nature. 
Impish nature. Oh, come on. Come on. How fast is Charizard typically? Charizard's pretty well-rounded, isn't it? I don't want something bad. Brave nature. Okay, now that's not really what I want either. Oh, boy. Hmm. Nah. What's Charizard's worst stat? This is Gen 3 without the split, so I can't really run Physical Zard as much as I want. I'd rather just something that doesn't, like, lower my defenses that way, but eh. Maybe I should have stuck with Brave, Brave Nature. Bashful is equal. Oh, wait, it's equal, but his special attack's higher than anyway. You know what? I could take this one. I could take this one. Yeah. I'd say neutral's fine for him. It's level 15, so it's about to be Charmeleon. Do it. Oh, I can use the flying moves, yeah. I'll take it. Sorry, no nicknames on this run. For me, anyway. Oh, wait. You're still here? Oh, you you don't move until I beat Misty in this game, do you? Uh-oh. Well. Normally, he moves after you talk to Bill. Despite everyone's magical bad memory of thinking otherwise, no. It's only hacks that make it put him in the way like that until after Misty. You can leave Misty for a long-ass time if you really want. That person's out of the way. All right, do we go right in to fight Misty? Hmm. Will I be better this time for it? How close is everyone to levels? 914. 106. Charmander is gonna die a lot, though, that's for sure. Time to spend my money while I throw myself at her. Hmm. Eh, just buy those for now. My repel that I'll never use. Another antidote to. Okay, then. Let's figure this out. You're a trainer, too. Collecting, battling. Tough life, isn't it? Yeah, it's so tough. Playing Pokemon, man. I like how our thing's show gonna show that she's number one. Alright. Time to battle like we've never battled before. Go, girl. Time to fight. Yeah, the rollout guy is from Pokemon Emerald, which is this, bu this is built off of. So they just kind of moved around some of the extra move tutors. Razor Leaf. Ooh. Okay. Knew she was going to Super Potion. This is good, all things considered. The random Razor Mist is going to, like, cost me the battle, though, for sure. So far, so good. Let's see. Yeah, this is built off of Emerald, not Fire Red Leaf Green. Which is... I, I know. <laughs> Everyone assumes. Because it has everything, it looks like it. Alright. Okay. So far, so good. But now that Starmie is going to slaughter me. If I can just- I need to go for the Razor Leaf, to be honest. Putting it to sleep isn't gonna do me any good. Ah, oh, it's gonna kill me one hit, isn't it? Oh! Okay. Maybe I should try and paralyze it with Pikachu right away. Next time. Okay, we got a chance. We got a chance. We have a chance, everybody. A chance. We have a chance! Mm. 
What does Charmander have? Anything to lower anything? No. It's just gonna sit there. Alright, let's go for the Mega Punch. And hope. Mm. I need that paralysis to work. I missed. <laughs> well, if I send in Pikachu to paralyze Starmie next time, then maybe I can get myself a free razor, another free razor leaf turn on it. Yeah, take that. Chat, I have not seen Paralysis activate for my opponent's Pokemon once in the three hours I have been playing this thing. Has it happened? It sure as hell doesn't look like it has. <laughs> this Charmander's gonna hate me by the end of the battle. It did? When did it happen? I can't remember the bad parts. Or wait, no, the happy parts. I mean, I... I, 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 I can't talk. I can only remember when things don't go my way. Pikachu versus Onyx, did it? I guess it did. All right, let's do it. Make her waste the super potion on you. No crit? Gosh, do I need that level. Oh, give me a break. All right then. Guess we don't really have much of a choice but to sacrifice Charmander. <laughs> the human negativity bias, exactly. Sorry, Charmander. You must be sacrificed to heal my confusion. Let's go. The baby is down. I would love if I could just roll the critical hit with this on a full health opponent. Next time I can kill him one hit. Yeah, that should do it. Slow poke, send it out, send it out. Come on. Almost. Oh no, you can't do that. Now they're trying to now they're trying to ruin Ivy. How dare they? I need Pikachu and Ivy up ahead, man. Nido King's gonna have to get sacked for this. I missed my Mega Punch again. Ah, oh, I knew it wouldn't kill. That's two Mega Punch misses in a row, everybody. Let's go. Mega miss. Let's try this again. I'm going to send down a Pokemon, and you're going to die. Die. Probably could have just let Pikachu get the kill, but it doesn't matter now. Send in the Pikachu. Okay, time. Chat, it's time. It's time. Time to get our serious face on and get disgusted by her star meat. You can do it, Pikachu. Don't die. Don't die, to the disgusting. Oh. Well, fuck you too, Misty. Uh, I'm happy again. Oh, I lived. I lived, damn you. Oh, karma. I win. Yeah. Yeah! How's it feel? How's it feel? Wow, you're too much. I got my crit. Alright, you can have the Cascade badge to show you beat me. Teddy's win! Chat is filled with wholesome Teddy Ursa emotes right now. That includes even outsiders you got in trades. There's more. You can now use cut anytime out of battle. You can cut down small things to open new pathways. You can have my favorite TM. Water Pulse. May or may not use it. No problem. Seeing if you 
Gonna restart your PC. Ivysaur working pretty damn hard today, ain't it? Challenge mode. Challenge that. I should really, like, make a little graphic to put, like, the badge icons in that empty space above my head. I didn't have time to do that this morning, though. He didn't change. Alright, now let's get a Charmeleon, why don't we? Hey, stay out. It's not your yard. Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? Yeah, I wonder who the criminal is. Stand in there in the back. Check out the shop right there. I'm gonna send in you. I can't believe I won that attempt. That was... <laughs> that was silly. Some of these gym battles have been really silly due to RNG, haven't they? Ooh, can't locate me, bro. Can't locate me, bro. Drowsy. Send in the Charmander. I want to get a Charmeleon chat. Look at Charmander. He's a little friend. Don't you just want to go over and pet him on the head? Or maybe you don't, if you're a coward. Nido King's getting low level now. Hmm. I'll just let Ivysaur kill it. Drowsy's a little bit of an annoying, like, early game tank. Since we're around three hours, I'm gonna wrap this up soon and we'll switch to Mario Party. We did a poll earlier in Yoshi's Tropical Island one, so we're gonna be playing a 50 turn game on that one. I wanted to do an extra uh, game today because some things like Mother 3, I'm having issues getting uploaded to YouTube because of copyright, so I need a few extra days to get those up. I'm still gonna play more of it on Saturday, but YouTube is unfortunately gonna have to wait a little bit before I can get those done and up. Ugh, of course that game had to have issues. Okay, I'll return the TM I stole. I had such a good time, too. Better get moving. Luckily, it was only a couple themes and some cutscenes, so I just have to edit around that. If it was, like, battle themes and stuff, oh, that would be a nightmare to have to do something about. For now, let's go over here. Nintendo? <laughs> you think Nintendo's claiming Mother 3 videos? Oh, no, 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 no. And Nintendo does not claim anything. They don't give a crap. It's the SoundCloud rappers that pretend to own everything. There we go. Ember. 78. Yes, I made a remix of this video game theme. I own the theme. Your video is mine now. I'm gonna set this Pidgey on fire. Phony music, yes. I love when the very real Sony Music Group attempts to claim Pokemon music. That's fun. Do, 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 do. No, it wasn't even the Beethoven music. I muted that when I was actually streaming. All right, Charmander's evolving. Let's get it. Bum, 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 bum. Yay! Angry lizard friend. You can still pet its head, but now it has a little bump. Alright, and... So the daycare got a little bit of an upgrade. Look at this. There's more grass down here now. I'm the daycare man. Okay, so he gives eggs here now. I have a word with my wife. Oh, he's got a wife in this game. Good for him. Um, no reason to really leave anything here, I feel. Hmm. Now that we've done all that, I guess we can just advance this way. Hey, do you have Cubone? Want to trade it for my Machop? Wow. Wow. This dude gives you a freaking, uh... This dude gives you a, a Machamp. Because he trades Machoke in Pokemon Yellow. They changed it to Machop? How dare they? Well, at least you can evolve it into Machamp without trading easily, but you know what I mean. I can't even get Cubone right now, man. Does the underground look different? No, I think this is the same assets. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. 
People often lose things underground, but you can't check them in the first trip. Hang on, is this still up here? Citrus berry. That's a rare candy in Gen 1, though, right? Cherry berries. You know what? You can't do any breeding in Fire Red Leaf Green until post game. You gotta play it like Gen 1 for a long while. No Crobat either. Here, let's fight this guy with my Charmeleon. There aren't many bugs out here. I wonder why. Can you believe this, Teddy? Charmander has a neutral nature, but I noticed it has higher, uh, it had higher stats than some of the other ones anyway, so I think it just has better IVs than the ones with the natures, so I just left it as neutral. Oh, boy. Now, I had fun with Mother 3. I, I did a four-hour stream of it the other day, and I was just, like, glued to it the whole time, and I really want to play more. Let's see... So we'll enjoy more of that come the weekend, for sure. Caterpie's down. 17. Charmeleon getting better. No, you're kidding! Go take out the guy with the Butterfree now, first. Wait, no, it's a Sailor! Oh, because Let's Go makes this guy a Sailor. Right. I've never seen you around. Challenge mode? Uh, it's the game's built-in hard mode. He's got Tentacool instead. YouTube will see it when I can get it up. YouTube can be... YouTube's patient, little beans. Let me see. Oh, you got hit with that. No Butterfree here today. Oh, boy. Mm. Hang on, I need some water. Well, this is fun. Pikachu just sitting here dying like usual. I haven't used the Versus Seeker yet, but... Honestly, I probably should have tried it on some trainers when I was training for Misty. I didn't think about doing that. I'm not used to having it yet. It's okay, though. You're so good. Hang on. Let's go ahead and heal this up. This is why we bought antidotes, kids. Regular ass potions getting used up. Get access to the Pokemon Center, but oh, they made these two a double, huh? Okay. Razor Leaf hits two opponents, though. Hmm. A Charmeleon try and get XP. Me? Okay, I'll play. Huh? You want to talk to me? I had fun the other day uh, streaming uh, Paper Lily as well. That was That's a fun little horror game, but, like, I absolutely... I could not finish it be uh, t yesterday because it was so long. I thought it would be, like, a four-hour game, but it looks like there's still a couple hours left, even after that whole stream. Looking forward to eventually getting that all edited and uploaded to YouTube. Okay, 162. Oh, that's a rat. Hmm. Evasiveness fell. Well, this is a problem. I'm just going to divide the power with this, but we can always get a crit on the rat. Raticate avoided it. Of course it did. Well, Charmeleon's a sitting duck till it dies now. I may as well just bring in Nidoking. Hmm. I might as well just Razor Leaf anyway. Oh, that's bad. No crit, at least, on that. There we go. Okay, okay. You know what? We're gonna kick you. And you know what? We'll just tackle this time. Wish I could have just got rid of that Oddish first, but I decided to go for the rat instead. But it's okay. I'm happy again. Kick the radish. Now then, we'll just peck you and finish you off the old-fashioned way. 
Okay. Level 18 on that. This is the second trainers that have done the double battle thing here. Oh, good. There's Thrash. We can get rid of Mega Punch now. Yeah. Goodbye, Thrash. Here comes the Pidgey. Thrash can't hit my ally Pokemon, I hope. Either way, Pidgey is down. Now get going, friend. Catch you later. That Charmander is looking... Got a little magenta filter going on with it. Look at him. And now it's dead because it got kicked by a giant monster. No problem. Ooh, hey, this looks different. This town looks like it has a big little, little overhaul. Hang on, what does the Versus Seeker lady give me now? The urge to know more about others. Oh, is the fame checker now? Wanted to know about certain people over and over, too. I've been giving these away. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, of course. Use that device to know more about people. You'll have to collect information from others to use it, though. All right, then. Let's have a look at this. Oh, the fan club got its own building. No Versus Seeker. I already have the Versus Seeker, friend. I got that a couple, like an hour ago. I'm the fishing guru. I simply love fishing. Can't bear to go without it. Who said bears? Like to fish? Grand, I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. Got an old rod. Fishing is a way of life. It's like the finest poetry. From seas to rivers, go out and land the big one, my friend. Yeah, isn't the fame checker normally given to you by blue? So they just swap them. I'm looking for a competent trainer. If you see someone as strong as Lieutenant Surge, let me know. Alright, so we'll get the Squirtle after we beat Surge. That's probably not happening today, though. Whoa! Look how fancy it is. I'm the chair at the fan club. I raise more than 100 Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. I surely am. So, did you come to hear about my Pokemon? Good, then listen up. My favorite Rapidash. It's cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. You think so? Oh, yes, it's stunning. Kindly. Love it. Hug it when it's sleeping. Warm and cuddly. Spectacular. Ravishing. Oops, look at the time. I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. See, I'm kind of like this guy, except when you listen to me talk about Teddy Ursa, I won't give you anything in return. You get nothing except me talking about Teddy Ursa. Take that bike voucher to the bike shop in Cerulean City. Exchange that for a bicycle free of charge. Don't worry, my favorite Firo can fly me anywhere I need to go, so I have no need for a bicycle. I hope you like cycling. Yay. This town has the most changes visually to it by far. There's two cut trees now. Look at that. It's like they want you to surf to it, too. Is the trade for Farfetch still the same? There's a guy in the corner. You have Spiro. Trade for Farfetch'd. There's a move that gets stronger when you keep using it in a row. Oh, a Fury Cutter. Oh, they put it next to the Farfetch guy because Farfetch can learn it. Okay. We're not on the same wavelength. <laughs> I love this child. Like, we're not on the same wavelength. You get the hell away from me. Get the hell away from me. You and I do not vibe. You probably, whatever, you don't even like Teddy or so, I bet. If you think Fury Cutter is, is worth learning, then no, we're not. Wait, what? Dude, the construction zone! He built a house! What is this? Pokemon contest building? Hello. This is the reception counter for Pokemon contests. Oh, it appears you don't have a Pokeblock case yet. Another reason this was built on Emerald, I guess, is to add Pokemon contests. Okay, now that we cleared that up. Hello. This is the reception counter. No. I love making Pokeblocks. I always have berries with me. If you'd like, we could make Pokeblocks together with the Berry Blender. Only participants are allowed. I can't wander in there this time. 
I made polka blocks with my mom, dad, and big sister. This is a, a Hoenn kid sprite. But like edited to fit the fire red leaf green aesthetic. I'm going to make delicious polka blocks and make my Pokemon cuter. Hmm. Vermilion Harbor. Look at that. I wonder if the people over here say anything. We're careful about pollution here. I've heard Grimer multiplies in toxic sludge. Vermilion is happily gazing at the beautiful starry sky. Yay! Any other new buildings? This one's a normally an NPC house as well, but what is it? I want to exchange mail with so all sorts of people. I send my Pidgey to a union room to exchange mail for me. Getting my Pidgey to fly a letter to Saffron. Dear Pippi, hope to see you soon. I heard Saffron has problems with Team Rocket. Vermilion appears to be safe. Hmm. Vermilion seems cozy to live. Would you live here, chat? Living in the Pokemon universe wouldn't be very cool, though. A lot could go wrong. Awakening. Hmm. Taking a look at my team so far. This is pretty standard for Kanto, but it, they're, they're fun to use. I've already used Pidgeot like a thousand times lately. <laughs> so I actually like using the uh, Kanto special. Let's fight you. Let's go, but don't cheat. I'm using Nido King. That's basically cheating to a lot of people. Ekans. If I could live in the Pokemon world, that means I could live with Teddy Ursas in the woods somewhere. Just build myself a mansion, it would be the Teddy Ursa house. Trainers could come visit, but they must solve all the puzzles that involve Teddy. And at the end of it, they get a free Teddy to take home. Free Teddies to a good home. Let's do it. Set him on fire. Not to mention, chat, Pokemon has established that streaming is a career in that universe, so I could just, like... I could just keep doing this, to be honest. <laughs> huh? That's not right. That Pokemon also establishes that a city is, like, five buildings. Isn't that kind of funny? Like, Iono's city in, um, Scarlet and Violet. They have these, like, big, like, the city center, but there's really, like, only a handful of buildings there. Let's go. Be wholesome. Is Iono the only streamer in that universe, though? I wonder. Hmm. I run into anything here? Maybe I should try the lure. Mr. Mime normally shows up in the wild here in Let's Go. I'll try the lure. They've been sitting in my inventory forever because they don't feel worth using. Does it affect the shiny odds, I wonder? Well, that's still that. She's cornered the market, that's right. It's only a matter of time until everyone starts ripping off Iono until it's not trendy anymore. 97. You like my PNG tuber? Thank you, friend. I like it too. Eddie also likes the stream. From the look on his face, though, it looks like he has no idea what the hell's going on. It said it increases the odds. Doesn't guarantee I'll find a rare Pokemon. I just became a trainer. I think I can win. I'm figuring for my next party members, I could just get, like, Blastoise as my surfer and maybe go for a Gengar. Because I, I don't really get to use Gengar a whole lot. Let's go. Poison Sting. This could be a fun one to attempt a Nuzlocke in sometime, too. But I wouldn't Nuzlocke a hack unless I'm more familiar with it. I have heard that, like, attempting to Nuzlocke a game for the first time, especially a hack, is such a bad idea. You're basically asking for everything to go wrong. Let's go. I'd be weak to Psychic? Yes. I'd only have, uh... Yeah, I guess I would have three Poison types in that case, but it's Kanto. 
Every, half of Kanto is basically poison any poison type anyway. That's just the experience. Level 19. Or just Nuzlocke with a specific uh, type. My Pokemon couldn't win. Haven't they grown enough? I do keep saying I should try a Monotype playthrough. A Monotype Nuzlocke could be neat. That's Pidgey. Another thing that I can force my PNG tuber into. That's right, chat. You will see the anime on the side. And you will deal with it. <laughs> oh, hey, there's a mime. I knew it. Too bad uh, Alakazam is available in this game. I wouldn't want to get that. Are they worth killing? No fairies in this game, no. Oh, he's gonna take forever! Alright, I burned him good. Yeah, that's not gonna help you, bucko. That's right, Mr. Mime. Get mimed! Perfect. There's one thing Kanto has. It's lots of poison types and lots of water types. I raise my Pokemon carefully. There are so many Pokemon in Kanto that are just obsolete if you buy, like, one Pokemon. One Pokemon just obsoletes so many thing other things. Not to mention their availability doesn't help. It's like, hey, do you like Arcanine? Well, you're waiting a goddamn long time to get one. Especially if you don't have the right version. By the time you get through a rock tunnel, you must have most of your team already set anyway. You can already get early Charmander, so why not take that instead? Hmm. What do I do? A Kaizo Iron Man challenge? Basically a randomized nuz Nuzlocke plus plus plus? Well, if I had experience with that sort of thing, I'd try it. But I don't. Let's go. Ah, Thrash, what am I doing? I could do it for the views. The sweet, sweet views, chat. Charmeleon grew to that. Nice. Smoke screen. Um, I guess I don't really need Growl. Maybe I could do something with that. Smoke screen. Youngster Dave. Bye bye. Thank you and goodbye. Let's fight you. Watch out for live wires. We're kind of just getting some extra EXP, and then I'm gonna, like, switch games in a little bit. This is fun. I'm having a good time. Like, I get to use the Pokemon I want, and they, so far, like, the important battles are actually pretty challenging this way. Like, I won that Misty one through a little bit of a clutch. I haven't needed to use the Versus Seeker yet, though. But it's good that I had the option to grind earlier if I needed it. I imagine that'll be helpful if I try a Nuzlocke in this. Okay, let's take it out. Ah, damn. Alright. Good enough, good enough. Uh, double kick it. I would love to try more Nuzlocks in games. People said the last Egglock I did was too easy. Too many people did give me good Pokemon, so it was kind of hard for one them to die. Whoa, you spark lug. All right, let's run back for a bit here. Let's run back. Try something harder. Go for like a monotype that's viable or something. I don't know. Or maybe I should just try and complete a regular ass Nuzlocke. That would be a, a good good start, perhaps. Just pick a game and pl play it normally. Okay, so it has the prompt to let you reuse lures and repels. That's cool. The enemy Pokemon also had terrible moves. Yeah, that was also true. There's still more trainers up here to fight now that I think about it. I kind of ran by them. 
Uh, you? Who's there? Quit listening in on us. That's Squirtle. You come Squirtle, everybody. Let me run away. Hang on. I don't think uh, plat that Platinum Randomizer was a Nuzlocke. That was just chaos. I remember I just turned on random evolutions and I had things like Chikorita evolving into Mew. Random evolutions on a Nuzlocke sounds like a disaster. But it sounds like it would be a beautiful disaster that's fun to watch, but miserable to, to actually play. Hey, mods, we got a bot there. Let's bop it. Oh, wait, I didn't fight the other person up over there. Route six. Excuse me, this is a private conversation. Picnicker Nancy would like to battle. Thank you. Set the puff on fire and watch it cry. The Jigglypuff looks colored like gum. It's a little gumball now. It's gonna take a while to get Charizard, but I want Charmeleon to be this around the same level as everyone else. Oh, yeah. I, I kind of forgot what Pikachu looked like on the other sprite. I've, ha I've been seeing its back the whole time. Rats on fire. You know, now that I think about it, if you set a rat on fire, it would probably smell really, really bad. I th Then again, I think most living things will be set on fire and smell bad. What a weird line of thought I've entered. <laughs> Pikachu's got that very happy sprite, but does he have the very happy stats? I'm not so sure about that. The rat learns flame wheel. Raticate can get flame wheel, can it? Like, as an egg move, I think? Or was it a move tutor thing? I wonder if the inside of the cave's different. Nah, looks mostly the same here. Okay, little baby mole. Oh. Failed it. Now it's gonna do this. Oh, I love when I make this decision. Alright, let's do this. Diglett has, like, the early game speed, so I can just kind of do that. Hello, friend. Welcome. We get growled, and now we're gonna throw leaves at it to get away. Raticate can, can't learn Flail, but it can learn Reversal. Pokemon moves are so silly. Did you know that in Gen 3, no fighting types can learn Superpower? I think the only ones that can learn Superpower are um, the Regis and Nidoqueen. Competition, I can't get enough. Let's do it. Set it on fire. It's super effective. Okay, Charmeleon's getting there. Looking at its stats, it's not bad at all. I think I'm glad I grabbed the neutral one. Hmm. Fighting types aren't super, I guess. Chat, there's gamblers in this game. Don't worry, there will be no gambling, except when you bet your teddy tokens for Mario Party. I keep saying I'm gonna stop, but I keep going some clutch gym battles here. I don't know how expansive the Sevi Islands are. Is it worth playing for those that are aware of this game? Because mostly I kind of picked this because I wanted to play like, um, I wanted to play Kanto casually with a bit of a challenge enabled to it. Perfect. I didn't feel like doing a Nuzlocke or anything fancy. I mostly just- I want an excuse to use the PNG tuber for a new Pokemon run. Because we have Blaze Black going on the side, which is... Yeah, over 600 Pokemon we need to catch for the decks. And I just wanted to do something a little bit different, too. Alright. Full PNG tuber day. Don't worry, I'll have my little microphone ready. I think after we, we play Yoshi for Mario Party 1 today, the next I'll do another one next week, but we'll do it on Mario Party 2. 
Luckily, all three are on Switch Online, so I don't have to worry about emulator glitches, because I know it can happen. Or, like, the textures will flash randomly. Ugh. Perfect. Not gonna get Venusaur today. Or C. And let Pikachu do this. Perfect. Submission was changed in Crystal Kaizo. It had no recoil there. Basically kept it the whole damn game. Ah, didn't go my way. Maybe I should check out one of those, um, one of those hacks that recreates Gen 2 and Gen 3. I kind of always wanted to do a full playthrough of those. Careful, I'm laying down cables. Hmm. Gen 2, or, like, going through Johto and all that can be comfy for me. Especially when there's more Pokemon variety. Maybe I can also just wait for, um, whatever Drayano's working on. Like, the Crystal version equivalent for Heart Gold Soul Silver. Is that still coming out, or is it already out? I can't remember the name of it, to be honest. There's a billion different ones for Crystal and Heart Gold Soul Silver, though, so... I'm never gonna run out of things to play, it seems. There's at least that. Nice. That was electric. Aurora Crystal? Yeah. I believe he called it Renegade Platinum, because uh, Giratina is classified as the Renegade Pokemon. Now there's ones for the 3DS I gotta get up to, too. Nah, get up to as well. Um, I'll let Nino King do it. Only main thing, like, obviously this takes inspiration from, like, Let's Go a little bit as well, but it's not like I can catch Gen 2 Pokemon. It's not aiming to, like, give more Pokemon variety. Maybe, if they if they added a mode, though, that adds Hoenn and Johto Pokemon throughout the playthrough, I, I wouldn't mind replaying with that as well. Let's see. Vulpix, let's do it. Ooh, that's a very red-looking Vulpix. Got some, like, Cheeto, like, spicy Cheeto dust on it. Saw this coming. Okay, let's get this. Pidgey. Animated sprites are so nice. Now, if this could also be compatible with the randomizer, it just activate, like, the type rando or something, too. There's so many ways to play Pokemon now. It's so comfy. Hope you're all having a comfy time watching, whether it's right now or, um, uh, later on YouTube. Okay, I want to see if they change this. Oh, new Snorlax sprite. Let's go. Pokemon sprawled out. It's it's set up to piss on me from a distance if it if I get too close. I gotta be careful. What about up here? Oh, damn it! Come on. Do Oaks aids give you anything still? Okay, I still have to catch stuff for those. I'm looking for coughing. Want to trade it for Grimer? Um, no. Aren't those two in the same spot anyway? Weird. Couple trainers left here. Mm, let's take out one more, one more trainer and just go save at the center. I'm in the, I'm the best in my class. Train every morning. There's some emerald hacks now that have built-in randomizers, which is nice. Since, yeah, a lot of external randomizers, people need to remember, are abandoned. Like, they're not constantly being updated anymore for several years, so if you try to use it with most, like, modern hacks, you're gonna just break the game. So, games that have a built-in randomizer are an absolute godsend. Like, Pokemon Infinite Fusion has a built-in rando. I would love to go back to that, because it's gotten hundreds of more sprites since I played it last year. Like, I, I I would love to play that again with the randomizer enabled, for sure. Let's see. Perfect. 
Some of those Teddy Ursa fusions were heckin' super cute too, weren't they? I'll let Nidoking kick it. A good Hyper Fang could kill anybody here. You know what Pokemon I could use, Jat? Hitmonchan. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Bear only infinite fusion run. Can I beat infinite fusion with only Teddy Ursa fusions? If the Pokemon doesn't have a Teddy Ursa as a part of it, it's useless. Cannot be used. No, but for real, do you know why infinite fusion became like a cakewalk for me? Like, one of the things I need to ban for sure next time... Um, from the Wonder Trade machine, I got a Zoomeral. Or, no, I got something that had Slacking, right? You know what I did? I fused Slacking with a Zoomeral. So I got a Pokemon with Slacking stats that had huge power as its ability. And uh, can you guess what happened? It killed literally everything with no effort. It, it's so easy to combine Pokemon in a way where they're too, way too good. Way, way, way too good. I basically had huge power slacking. <laughs> it was too strong for its own damn good. Um, so maybe like a, t a challenge or a randomizer. I mean, even in a randomizer, I feel like it's easy to find things like that and put them together. So maybe like a, t maybe like having to change my team every like city or something would work. I don't know. Azuma King, I think it was called. Anyways, we made a save here, chat. This sh is gonna be our first episode of Recharged Yellow. This was very nice and comfy, I had fun. I was a little bit overwhelmed yesterday having to like edit some of the copyright issues. I still gotta deal with that. And I just wanted something nice and wholesome to turn on and just like uh, shoot the crap with chat. Challenge mode has been good so far. I feel like the regular trainers don't really have a whole lot going for them though. It's only really been the rival and the gym leaders. So far, like, the regular trainers, I'm just kind of pushing past them. But we had some clutch moments against Brock and Misty, so that's pretty cool. Especially since I went in with a freaking Bulbasaur. Anyways. Ooh. Yeah, Infinite Fusion's definitely on the table again. There's lots of games we can still play. But for now, this will be our first episode for YouTube. We're going to get ready to switch for Mario Party, though, next. So if you're watching right now on YouTube, have a good night. Look forward to more of this. Bye-bye.